that are supposed to be with us and they are not here. We also have members, member coma still a member in this committee. <laughs> we have member coma uh, who's also supposed to be with us uh, but is also not with us. So those are the only apologies from our side. As we normally do, uh, from our office support team, there's Pili Leskubutu, there's Luandi Letawula, where's Luandi? Thank you. Then there's Rafilwe Moremi, uh, lost is our test record so that tomorrow we can be able to refer. Uh, we have Sister Anna Mamabulo, who assists us and you by making sure that every board we see here is registered uh, so that we have database. Uh, we have Opri Dukula, uh, who assists us in making sure that this event, all, all our events are captured. Uh, who's, uh, who's here that I did not mention? No. Okay. So those are people from our team that are here. Uh, and uh, I would want to give over to the department uh, and request Oh, eh, hey, And then we have uh, We have Mulate uh, Losh Kwane, who is our researcher, uh, responsible for when we meet the department, she has to prepare us. Uh, we don't just go to the department and grill them without facts. So Mulate Losh does uh, that for us, and we have uh, Jenny Kivitz, uh, who deals with our communication. If uh, you Jenny Kivitz will make sure that uh, So that is the team from the legislature that uh, works with us as members in making sure that uh, we achieve the work as given to our mandate. And I want to call the HOD, I think the HOD is here, I want to call the HOD so that uh, the HOD can introduce the team uh, that is here from the department uh, before we can proceed. And then colleagues, there are inter ne, ne, interpretation. Is it interpretation? Oh, yes. There are yeah. uh, there are interpreta interpretation gadgets. Ne? Uh, for those of us that may need them. Uh, please, if you need uh, an interpretation gadget, just raise your hand. Uh, our team will come to you and will assist you. But what is important is to note the channels. If we want Shichonga Shivenda, Shichonga Shivenda is channel two. Tosa Nesizuru is channel four. Sipedili Sisutu is channel three, and we apologize that today we don't have uh, Africans. Those of you who attended our last stakeholder engagement uh, would understand that uh, things are changing. We are all working uh, at the same time in the subcommittees, and, uh, and that then results in us having not enough capacity. So we are just hoping that those who are African uh, speaking people can today try and learn uh, other languages because we don't have Africans, but we do have these other languages. And uh, it's better today. In the last one, we only have the sign language because all those, uh, that material at the back there was not even available because there was no one. And one last part, please don't take the gadget out of this room. And to leave this room, the gadget will never work anywhere. So please just keep it here uh, for those reasons. Uh, we lose these uh, properties uh, on events like this, and it doesn't make sense because it's not reusable anywhere outside these events. So to repeat the languages again, Shichonga Sivenda is channel two. <laughs> Sikos and Sizulu is channel four, Sipiri is Sutu, K channel three. And if you need those, just raise your hand, our team will come and assist you. 
uh, HOD, over to you. Langutla is well. Okay. Good morning, Dumelanga uh, Ofela, and thank you, Chair, and uh, good morning, honourable members. Kalibizo ke China machine in the acting HOD department. Um, Chair, let me also start by extending an apology for for the MEC, uh, who will not be able to join us due to the netball trophy tour that's currently happening. Uh, at the union building, um, presenting the tr trophy to the president. So she will not be able to join us today, uh, and I'm here representing the department. With me today, KIS CEO, yeah, the Gauteng Film Commission, Maggie Dumezelebak, and Otamali Executive here, hi, Mac Makoba. Keep on about the presentation here at the Gauteng Film Commission. And amongst us here, uh, on the floor, we've got the Chief Director of Cultural Affairs, and that uh, Boniface Mazila Zila is uh, at the Kyo uh, out. Kibonele Director of School Sports, and that Patrick Moza. There he is at the back. We uh, let the come out So those are the officials that we have accompanying us today in this meeting. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. H.O.T. Uh, colleagues, let me just remind you uh, of the purpose of this meeting. You would remember that uh, the last two stakeholder engagements we had, the committee felt that we were we're not reaching our goals. We're not uh, meeting targets. You were, US stakeholders were not able to, to raise enough your issues. And we then took a decision that we're going to do what we, talk, we call uh, sectoral stakeholder engagement. So three weeks ago, we had a stakeholder engagement, and we committed that within a month, we will start with this process of uh, sectoral engagement. And today we are here starting with the process. And today we are here with the GFC so that we only have those who are in the industry. We'll have another session with your athletes uh, under sports and recreation. We'll have another session with your crafts and cultural arrangement, we'll have another session with the heritage, just like that. So we are dealing with you sectorally, so that we are able to can get issues, so that the department through GFC can get the correct nitty gritties. Because when we call you in broader forums, we don't get that. Uh, I always call these forums border sessions, because you come there and want to border. And then when we leave, we, 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 we do not get what we want from yourselves, besides uh, that you wanted to, to vent out. And because these meetings are arranged programmatically. So when we come to you and say we are dealing with quarter four report, for example, it would mean we must focus on quarter four report. But now when you come there, you are not even coming for quarter four report. You are coming for questions that you have for GFC. You are coming for questions that you have for the department. And the department only comes there having prepared what we invite uh, for them to come in and, and, and present. So those are the basis of uh, today's meeting. That uh, the session is aimed at looking at the industry development uh, program of the Gauteng Film Commission and the founding model in place. Uh, the program provides support to imaging film make, uh, makers and, produ and, pro and producers. And GFC allocates funds uh, to these programs on an annual basis to support and develop the film industry. 
Therefore, the committee will assess uh, the impact of the services rendered by the program on the ground and if there is value for money. The committee will afford you uh, an opportunity to make oral and written submissions to, 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 to the GFC, uh, but also to assist us generally and assist yourselves in better understanding uh, the industry. So that is in the main, the basics around uh, this engagement today. Whenever we call you in a, an unarranged stakeholder engagement, when we leave and asking GFC, did you get something? Sometimes they say, no, it's, it, it's things that we believe we answered. Or there were no questions directed to us. It was just comments. And when we speak outside our corners in different corridors, those of you who call us, you would complain, no, GFC is not doing enough. Please make sure that that board is removed. Uh, you speak different things, those of you who speak to us. So we thought that we must then arrange things differently. That you come, uh, only the people that are dealing with the filming industry, and then we speak films. We'll go and speak running with athletes, We'll go and speak soccer and netball with those who are doing it. So that is why you are here and here alone. And that is why they are here and here alone, so that they speak to you. So, I understand why CBZ is meeting. Thank you very much. So, let me not waste uh, any further time. This is what is going to happen now. The department is going to present to you. As they present, please note your issues. Uh, note them correctly. Uh, because this is what will happen after they present. I'm, we're going to open, Member Mukwebo will facilitate a session where he's going to open for questions. We'll open questions twice. So we'll open the first round of questions. They will respond. We'll open a second round of questions. They will respond. So the reason why I'm, I'm raising this is because in meetings, the nature of meetings uh, has what we call a brainwave, whereby Tulani will not raise a hand, but once Member Mukwebo says something, he then remembers, hey, Konje Then he wants also to speak. It disturbs the running of the meeting. But also, in its nature, it's disrespectful to those who would have raised hands. Because and then we know And uh, those of you who do planning, you would understand what it does to the planning. But for today, we'll be very generous because it's only you. So we'll do it twice. And what we are then hoping for is that after the second page, there won't be further questions. So I'm just saying, if you are brainwaved, make sure that you are brainwaved in the first set of questions. So that Magbuya is two, Unabu, Lababu is two. So in Nam Sanja, Nama brainwaves is of Lela. Mara Swain Zenga, availing a second layer, I am a question. Anga Vil, Nabe Sigmel is created in that layer, I am a question. Because Lababu is a second layer, Mawangan, a Konabas Kumbus is in his in Tosong, Dennis Funubuyang a third, a third layer. So I understand that. I thought I must outline the process uh, because, you know, Gustavanisa, when it, it, it uh, if you have my questions and answer sessions, uh, because Usugeka, and you believe your question is, you did not get a chance to ask a question. But the reality is that when we are given a chance to ask a question, you do not ask that question until the King Sol reminds you that, hey, Gonjonalin Twelia, you commission a short length of 40,000, then you remember, hey, Gonjolin. The more parting about the forty thousand, then you quickly want to force us to recognize you to speak. It disturbs everything that we are doing. So we are just making that request, and we are just clarifying it earlier, so that there is that understanding. Uh, we don't want a situation whereby one person is speaking and then six hands are up uh, because that person is reminding you of something 
we want you to be yourselves. And, and, and when you are yourself, you, you will not be taken by the brainwave. You know why you are here, what issues do you want to raise since you are here, and the answers that you expect. But the brainwave, you know, was larger, versus lose meeting. Start time question I-20, but because of the brainwave, so we let's enter I-26, and there is a problem. But today, since we're on the first session, the brainwave second session. So I'm just saying, please note your things correctly, so that if you forget also something in the first, because it happens, which you are raising issues, why four, but you end up raising only three. So the fourth one is that we raise a second batch Yama uh, question. But what all we are trying to say is that let us avoid that's all what we are trying to explain. And let me not waste any time and give over to and give over to the Gauteng Film Commission. The CEO is here. She will be leading us. Uh, Mac is here. Uh, they will be both taking us through. Thank you very much, colleagues. Yes, over to you, people of films. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chairperson, and let me greet you and the honorable members, HOD. Um, let me also greet our stakeholders who have braced the cold to be part of this session today. As the Houghton Film Commission, we really take these sessions very seriously because it's an opportunity to get input from the very same stakeholders that we service. So we don't take these gatherings lightly, and we do believe that some of the inputs that come through help shape our strategy, they help shape our policies so that we are better or in a better position to service the sector accordingly. Before we go to the presentation, let me just introduce the team that is here today. Um, I have Mr. Mek Mohoba over here, um, who is the Executive Industry Support Partnerships and Projects. On the floor, I've got Mr. Figamati, who is the Acting Corporate Services um, Executive. There he's standing, thank you very much. I have the CFO who's possibly joining us a bit late due to, uh, oh, he's here already. The CFO, Mr. Elliot uh, Maluleke, he's there standing, thank you very much. I also have um, Ms. Humozo Zebediela, who's the industry support uh, manager, she's there standing. Uh, I also have Ibanati Manana, who's representing communications. He's also standing. And I also have Mr. Kele Masemola, who uh, acts as the PA to my office, but also as the acting research coordinator. Uh, if he can stand, I can't locate him. Oh, there he is standing. Thank you very much. That is the team that is um, representing the GFC and that will be taking us through and responding to the questions that will be raised. Let me firstly, Chairperson, before we go to the presentation, just give an overview to say in the last couple of, in the last uh, 16 or so months, we've spent time as the GFC in the strengthening of the governance of the institution, uh, conducting assessment on the capacity to deliver, ensuring that the GFC is able to better service the residents of Gauteng, and in particular, the filmmakers. We've reviewed our funding policy to make sure that it includes and is inclusive of all. One of the issues that we had noticed is that when we spoke about emerging filmmakers, we were not also taking into consideration the new filmmakers, the newcomers. But also, our desire was to make sure that the previously disadvantaged uh, filmmakers also come into the fold are funded. 
we were very deliberate to make sure that we do not fund the people who are at a more opportune or have better access to funding. So we were very deliberate in the type of um, strategy and approach that we followed. In order to ensure that there is fairness and transparency, we appointed independent adjudicators who will be fair and who will not have bias. So these are the team of industry experts um, in strategy in the film sector who are able to carefully assess applications and are able to recommend to myself and the board accordingly. Over and above that, we have made sure that we carry the mandate of the premier of the teach, making sure that we are funding more projects that are coming from township informal settlements and also hostels. It was important for us to understand whether the GFC is making impact or not. As such, we commissioned a research to actually go on the ground to say, are we making the type of impact that we should be making? The research report was furnished to us, and one of the concerning uh, issues that it raised was the following areas, Tswani, West Rent, and City Bank are not fully participating in the funding, which means that most of the funding goes to City of Jobek and other um, corridors instead of these. So we are very deliberate to say going forward, how do we therefore make sure that all the filmmakers and participants from Tswani, West Rent, and City Bank get funding. The process also helped us with our own administrative uh, challenges internally, and we receive the inputs because we can only grow with inputs. Among others, it spoke about the turnaround times when we evaluate projects, as well as the turnaround times when we looked into the payments and the contract. This is feedback that we are taking very seriously as the GFC, and as such, putting mechanism as a way of trying to improve. With that said, we have invested in an IT system because as the world improves and moves into more digital, particularly the sector, we have also went to invest in an IT system to make sure that you are able to submit applications from the various corridors, even in the comfort of your own homes and your offices. The system has been geared to be able to allow you to register, allow us to receive applications, allow adjudication online. We are in a process as the Gauteng Film Commission of doing what we call a business process analysis which will lead to further automation. Further automation would mean that once you've been funded, your contracts will be easily done online, which will therefore cut the number of hands that uh, the contract goes through, which causes delay. We're also looking, among others, into interfacing uh, payments from the application. This will make it easy as well for us to be able to make payments on time. We continue as a GFC, among others, to engage both private and public sector in terms of funding. Why do we do that? Because we understand that the money that we receive annually cannot, and I repeat, cannot address the needs of the filmmakers. We understand and we know that it takes at least six million to produce a high standard and quality uh, movie. However, the funding that we have as the GFC can only take us this far. We are engaging with the department, we are engaging with Treasury, and as, as well as the Portfolio Committee to make a serious business case for the GFC to receive more money. Why do we do that? Because we understand that um, the audiovisual industry can be a very strong contributor, and it currently is into our GDP. So again, with the Portfolio Committee sitting here, we rely on their support and the HOD to be able to take this forward. 
We receive over 600 applications at every call. And unfortunately, we are unable to service all. At times, we see that uh, the proposals are great, but you may find that we're sitting with about three per category. We see that as a serious concern. This is why we have been engaged in the department. We are engaging and submitting proposals to the next, um, what we call the, the finance committee that will be looking into projects. I agree, and I'm sure that filmmakers will also agree with me that we need more money. Filmmakers will also be aware that the film summit, the Discover Summit that was supposed to take place last year was postponed. And we have engaged with the board, have engaged with the MEC's office, together with the portfolio committee, who have made a very strong plea to say the Discover Summit needs to come back because of the number of investment, the number of um, knowledge, master classes, and all the opportunities that were lying within there. We continue to engage with the likes of the SABC, the likes of Netflix, and Showmax to say, how do we make it better for their criteria to allow filmmakers to go through and receive funding? And this comes at the backdrop of us being informed that at times the criteria are stringent. So as a support partner, we want to know how can we work, walk the journey and take you through uh, with the various workshops to ensure that you are able to meet the criteria or even bring a development factor. We continue to provide enterprises to up and coming filmmakers and organizations that uh, continually submit. And we are pleased to see that some of the productions that are coming in most of these platforms are coming from the very same uh, recipients who have received funding. That to us tells us that we are making progress. We understand as a film commission that in order to turn around the sector, we cannot do it alone. We need you. We cannot do and um, input on strategies alone. We need you. With that said, I'm going to allow the executive partnerships and projects and industry support to take you through the vision and where we are at, to also tell you what are the upcoming projects and what are our plans. And would really greatly appreciate feedback coming from yourself as we shape the GFC together as a collective. Thank you, Chairperson. Over to you, Mac. Thank you, um, CEO. Good morning, uh, honorable members. Good morning to the creatives. Zamo Gauteng. Hello. Ah, and no karo ka No, great. Thank you. Um, ah, vugani, vugani, my creatives. Just to then share with them, um, with the session that we are going to go through our uh, overview of indeed the mandate of the GFC, uh, our review of some of the programs, of our key programs, and also key partners because indeed for us to indeed grow and to support you effectively, we need to have these strategic partnerships and we'll be sharing with you uh, these um, partners that are in place or, and some of them that are in the pipeline. Uh, I will not go into each and every slide as indeed the CEO has outlined some of the key areas, but I think it is indeed important to share with yourselves what is the role of the GFC and how indeed it contributes to the Gauteng um, economy. The GFC is a provincial entity that is tasked with developing and promoting the audiovisual sector in Gauteng. I think you will indeed come across this statement in a number of our um, communication on our website. And for a lot of you, 
you would also agree that this is a very broad statement and a very big task for us to fulfill. And, how, and then we ask ourselves, how do we do this? Firstly, by ensuring that we promote uh, Gauteng as the preferred destination for filming, both to yourselves as the stakeholders and the creatives within the region, but also internationally. It is very important for us to position ourselves internationally to be competitive and to ensure that indeed um, we have great productions and content coming out of our region. We also need to facilitate transformation of the film industry as the commission. I think a lot of you would agree as well that when you go and you want to hire equipment, it is still uh, largely um, in terms of equipment hire, it is um, shared by, or it is housed by um, predominantly um, untransformed uh, organizations. All right, um, there's a technical issue. I'm not, so that indeed you are able to follow. Um, I trust that you will be able to see the presentation on, on your side. Yeah. All right. Then moving to, especially in a regional level and dealing with municipalities, it is important to ensure that we have good intergovernmental relations uh, in terms of ensuring that um, our filmmakers, our creatives adhere to the municipal bylaws. We provide a service of uh, film permits and location facilitation, and we're currently also reviewing uh, the rates and assisting some of our uh, stakeholders, which are, uh, you know, come from various, uh, not just municipalities and their local authorities, but it's also um, formal uh, establishments such as your, uh, and parastatals, such as Transnet, as some of you would want to indeed go and shoot uh, your, your projects on, um, on train stations or in, in various uh, locations, and you would need to have favorable rates uh, in order for you to be um, to gain access of those facilities. We need to also facilitate and promote new investment into the production um, value chain, and thereby also creating a, a number of jobs which are more sustainable. We understand that the jobs that are created within the sector are a lot uh, temporary jobs or, and on a short-term basis, but we would need to indeed have formal structures in terms of ensuring that those who are indeed being, um, who are being hired in various projects are indeed treated fairly, uh, both on set and as well as um, in terms of their contracts uh, we are also um, having uh, or establish a repository and managing the amount of um, statistics that, are, that come from the industry and share this with you. So GFC sees itself as, its, as a, a, the go-to agency in order for creatives to be able to have cutting edge information to assist them both in terms of developing their scripts and their, pro and their projects but as well as also ensuring that you're able to gain access to funding in other uh, platforms. I'm sure a number of you are also following us on our social media. We would like to encourage you to do so as you will gain a number of opportunities uh, from, from other stakeholders and other funding institutions. In terms of our strategic outlook, as Gauteng, we are indeed um, at the epicenter of um, the of the Afri of the um, creative industry within the continent, and we pride ourselves by having a number of world-class um, production 
studios and facilities, as well as broadcast facilities, and that's where indeed we see ourselves having, uh, contributing in ensuring that we facilitate um, productions to gain access to these facilities, but also to gain access to licensing and, um, and commissioning from various uh, broadcasters. In terms of world-class facilities as well, we're also reviewing how we can indeed leverage off the facilities and to create a film city. So these are some of the plans that we will be sharing with you in, in future once indeed they have been planned and as well as when there's more investment that has come through. But we are indeed excited to have such initiatives which will indeed benefit the creatives. In terms of the establishment uh, mandate of the GFC, it, has, it was established in 2000, so GFC is indeed over 20 years now in a, in, uh, from being a film office and, and ultimately it was formed into a commission. But it is, a, as part of the entity of the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, we promote the audiovisual sector. Uh, including support for TV, uh, documentaries, production, commercials, um, multimedia and streaming projects, as well as animation and, and gaming. So indeed, we are excited to have been supporting a number of these projects that are indeed being supported and are broadcast. Moving to the outcomes, so that as part of what we are tracking, because indeed we, with the funds that we have, we have to indeed allocate them strategically, and we have six outcomes that we have uh, managed to develop, uh, which indeed we are indeed implementing on an annual basis. In terms of outcome one, which is growing the audiovisual industry, contributing to social economic development. Here we are dealing with ensuring that it's projects from production, script development, um, all the way to, um, to also enhance market penetration, which is distribution, to encourage content and telling uh, authentic South African stories, you will also know, realize that when projects are indeed being evaluated, we are quite strict in terms of saying we need our authentic stories that indeed can travel. In terms of uh, outcome four, mentorship and enterprise development, we support projects both uh, for, um, we need to support a number of our emerging talent to be able to indeed develop and to be able to create cutting edge content. And we have bursaries as well as on the job training opportunities that we support. Then in terms of research and analytics, we pro produce um, research reports on an annual basis and as well as ensuring we have sound governance and operational excellence. 3,000 production houses, which indeed was, were operational, which made Gauteng a leader in terms of um, film projects across, the, across, across South Africa, um, having a share of 54% of projects taking place within the region. We need to ensure that we are competitive activity and projects that are taking place in the Western Cape and in KZN. We are then ensuring that we need to support um, the development of the industry within the region. In terms of the multiplier effect, I will just talk about the contribution that um, the audiovisual industry has in terms of being able to generate up to 5.5 billion. This is indeed reiterating how much value there is in the industry and how yourselves as the creatives and 
being part of the value chain is important. I will, sorry, I will just move a bit fast so that indeed we can get to also the analysis of the finances. In terms of um, distribution of uh, and technical infrastructure, there is still a lot of infrastructure and concentration within Johannesburg, and that's why indeed we want to set up hubs and other facilities within the region. Um, we have indeed started doing that in terms of the post-production, also in partnership with the Department of Sports, and we'd want to indeed make sure that we have other facilities established within the region. This is really part of our drive to ensure when we are engaging both with our stakeholders, uh, we always reiterate how much uh, value you get from uh, supporting the audiovisual sector. For every rand that is spent, the multiply effect is that 1.8 is then generated within the economy, both within the logistics and the other parts of the value chain. Moving to just review in terms of some of the jobs and stats, the, indeed the, in terms of the indirect jobs created, out of the target of 300,000 that are meant to be created in the five years, 24,000 have been tracked so far, and we are working with other uh, DTI and other entities to ensure that we are able to track how much jobs are being generated. And of course, the effect of COVID in terms of those two years is clearly visible. In terms of number of local content, uh, so in terms of the employment opportunities created through projects that have been supported by GFC, we had a target of 4,000. We have been able to create 2,700. So indeed, there is a, a, an increase there, but more indeed can be done in order for us to assist in, in the high number of jobs that need to be created and the unemployment that we see in particular amongst the youth. In terms of local script development, uh, project supported, target of 80. Thus far, we have been able to support 25 scripts developed, and indeed, we are not um, going to meet this target unless we are able to be supported and more script development projects can be um, supported in the next few years in order for us to meet that target. We are, in, on average, only supporting eight projects per year. So indeed, um, this is uh, a, a very low uh, base and would like to increase that. In terms of local content production supported, this includes documentaries, feature films, um, content for streaming platforms. There's a number of categories that we support and the target is 125 that we were due to support. Thus far, we've been able to support 108, but some of these are indeed short films. Um, and when it comes to feature films, we're only able to support three per year, which is indeed um, also a very low number. And we have to then turn away a number of applicants who are um, putting forward their applications for these capability are also a target that we are also grappling to find, especially production-led, um, uh, which, which are led by people living with disability. Just to touch on, indeed, in t as part of the areas where we are trying to make significant improvement to ensure that we are, uh, our applicants are able to be, um, are able to upload their projects uh, for, we have then, as are indeed in the process of uh, upgrading the system so that we are able to support more projects. Chair and members, just to then indeed reiterate that over 850 applicants were uh, applied in last year in just the one call, and only about um, 30 of those projects were recommended for approval. That then tells you the, the high level of um, 
rejection and, and um, uh, projects that, that have to be turned back. In order for us then to increase our base as indeed the fiscal or the, what we are getting from, um, and we'll touch on just how much GFC is funded per year at the end, is that we have seen as uh, the GFC, it is important for us to have strategic partnerships. And I will just touch on just some of the partnerships that indeed are beneficial to you in terms of where you can be able to, um, to then take your projects in terms, of, in terms of distribution. In terms of Trace TV, I'm sure some of you are aware and we've also had requests to say how do we support those who are in the music uh, industry or those who are shooting videos. We do not directly support um, uh, the video content for, for music video as part of our funding core. But then in partnership with Trace, then you'd be able to gain access to, to, to Trace um, and using the GFC platform. In the previous year, we had a call, indeed, as a part of a competition to do a 30-second video, and whereby, indeed, there was prize money of 25000 for ultimately for a mini documentary that was to be created uh, by the winner. We are also running um, promotion and, and advertisements in, as part of uh, our funding call through the Trace uh, uh, platform. Then in terms of Moja, Moja Love, uh, we have also been in partnership with them to ensure that we are able to, to support um, short content that is to be flighted we have also been able to identify talent and other opportunities. And indeed, we are looking forward to um, some of the projects that will be then flighted through the Moja Love partnership that was signed last year. In terms of BET and Viacom, as part of the Paramount Group, we've also been able to uh, have a partnership with them for Africa Day to stream the, the Africa Day uh, as part of um, the initiative last year, but we are also in discussion with them to, to support as they do have other um, uh, content uh, on more on the film side that we can indeed uh, assist them in terms of getting more content onto their platform. And just some of the other uh, partners, Mzansi, we are also, we had a partnership with them and we will be also looking to, to uh, revisit that partner, partnership to have about 10 projects that can indeed be um, supported and, and flighted as part of the distribution plan. We are also in discussion with SABC. Um, in the previous financial year, that we are at an advanced stage and we are going to finalize that partnership with them. And the others are indeed, uh, such as Netflix, uh, I, I think some of you have also been engaging them, and these are just some of the indeed key platforms that we know that once we have a partnership with them, you will be then able to gain access uh, and will be able to shortlist uh, and assist in terms of getting uh, our creatives within Gauteng to be part of the... Moving to the budget, because indeed, and Chair, just to also indicate that we, this is part of the, what the members had, uh, especially member um, um, Mukwevo has alluded that indeed we need to uh, outline how much the GFC is being is receiving and on an for this current financial year on average we receive 41 million and of this um, 17 million goes to core programs and the balance goes to operational uh, from uh, and as part of also our ratio in the past, we've been required to track how much uh, budget we are indeed 
putting towards core versus uh, operations, and we have effectively been moving that needle more and more towards uh, the core business, and we are in, um, indeed anticipating that additional budget will be made available for us to be able to effectively support more content that needs to be developed, scripts that need to be developed, as well as um, skills development and enterprise development projects. So on average, our budget has been increasing by 5% uh, on a year-to-year -year basis. And as you can see, uh, from the 2021 to um, the current financial year, uh, the, the budget has indeed been marginally uh, with only an adjustment of uh, 1.8 million received last year. And in the other years, there was no budget adjustment. With that, Chair, we'll give um, an opportunity to engage with our stakeholders and um, thank you once again. Thanks, uh, GFC, for presentation. I think the chair emphasized earlier yeah. how are we going to do this session. Arunya gave us about food to mala. Ranga watwadita wachabo ona. And then uh, we will give the the guidance how we're going to move. I don't know what is the hands for. Can the staff fully add to me about how I miss some at all? After you present these discussions, that is the agenda. But to me, the old or barbarian guy, then the because meeting war and I don't know your direction anyway. Wait, wait. The staff will come to you. Then we're going to another say, uh, item now. Discussions, presentations, whatever you want. The staff of GFC and the CEO, they will give you what you deserve to get. But now the session is discussions. Then, Remisha uh, Mato, Kamo Saiting Yegi Leveliging. Ye, Sait. Ye. I give a jagam, was guy who could say good to what's an agam. As are all the crucun or meeting in your legislature. Valar Duchi Camora de Melan or Batuar and Nakeva by Miss Chemato, Rema Lainegao Fella by Fuam Mike, Wafua two minutes. Arnagi speech. Two minutes. We are the Tabi. I can go for extra get low fire three minutes. Why would work your final extra? Yamola will get two. Young one, I add that three minutes. Maraca fit the three minutes are our card. And then you have got the right, or when we finish here, you engage the leadership here on one on one. Where's that roving mic? Bring it to me. Again, I go to go get some water now. Water, I can go now. Anger. I go and let me talk about Jerry Chance. 
ke strict monati fela so o tlo ba ba emise matso o tlo mo pela buti ku yena kere ya stand here follow ba ba emise matso follow him on this side ba ba emise matso mo sa ba sa le morao le emelaeng agar na bo maga mo pedi a go ka bolela sepedi so marabo papa ke mo venda ya lele le me le aga mo abo maga mo eh eh re fele ja ke re ka mo alo ar thuleng re fele ja ke wa bona re ke kwala monati yo a monati yo ngwe bona o tlo re popor popor ke tla o into order ke ke soft mara o re papar ke o bontsha re ke meeting wa rena wa legislature because re le invite le le stakeholder ja rena re nya gore re le service monati re feditse ka mo ke ra kwana batho ba hola le chairperson ya ka wa mpona re tswaletse ka mo a re fetsa ke lota ka ya le ba fe mike o bolela le se venda a ka re se go a se thata se wa ngwa nna ke bolela le mela isho a ke nya go tsenwa ke se go wona ka re batho ba ntso le nana ka re motho wa bua english ka re tlhalefile nna ke bolela sa isho ke kwa ha le wena o no re ba ka so ona le interpreter ke ila ka mola re chela le modi tsebe mona se venda se tsonga se pedi se zulu ka moka le sekhosa di hona ke re re khona o kwana because when you explain a thing in your own language you can make it better sound and then re khona understand re na o bolela ka eng ka e pofa ngwana se tla o betha drum tharo se khosa ke lo ema ka mo morao ka mola chairman a ke re ke tswaletse ene ke fit next week lo kitima marathon ko ke lo kitwa marathon ko comrade marathon yes i run marathons ke lo kwala mo thanks continue okay sambonane i'd like to say greetings to creatives cuz i figure most of us are creatives and thank you guys for taking your time to be here yeah well, uh but say two minutes i'm going to make it 1 minute 30 seconds uh the first question is with regards to the strategic partnerships Oh 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 ikamela muskhumbuzo kwa mukoyena I'm from Tembisa representing Grave Town Arts Foundation yeah uh the first question is with regards to strategic partnerships I feel like as creatives in the film industry the the partners that you did show on the presentations are very relevant you know so we have people that are writing content we want to sell to your Netflix your Showmax and so forth so I'd like to know how you guys will actually plug people on that platform you know and then uh after that in terms of in terms of strategic partnerships what i wanted to know in terms of support because you know netflix when we're doing our research they want content that comes usually using 4k cameras and uh, we must put make us it's hard for us to get such so i was wondering what it do you support in that front as well and that's all nyabong Um I would like to say uh, hello to our chairperson Babundlovu and Netimia Kayonke and our CEO uh Auski Dumezi and Netimia and then I would like to say hello to the uh, entire creative sector I'm a film makers I guess it's Yebo Yeah, some of my filmmakers. 
But uh, one thing that I would I would I would, I would, I would suggest Uguti EGFC ENs the next time is to also call ama musicians, ne? The reason why or abam abanta benzu music because na bobayange na lagu film. And uh as in isn't as bali well as the important even for Bona, but they don't know about those things. Um I don't know if EGFC is about na masegu ama musicians na <clears throat> because I attendega now. Um, I think the question problem. ama artists as a Western said being nasetwane whenever there's applications ababi kona. Ni kabangu the reason for that. Uguti eh, e language egu egu lona egu egu online portal. Yase yase GFC. It's not it's not the language oicho ayele. Therefore, abantu bazoza no manga base to sake sisi teganjan. But because aga understand the language ela payana, they will always fail. So what am I saying then? I'm saying there are many filmmakers here who are trained. Eh, guna bantu aba rana ama program safana na bo script to screen. Those people, why not use them to go to all the regions that say Lonin way before Guba ne call? So that those people, they will be work, but in a pitching session where people will come and pitch their stories. Guba select from there, work with them, and then Bese Bayagwazi, Uguti Masek Figi Piro Diok, apply, ba apply. What I'm saying here is very important. Uh, number two, uh, the sky ring issue. That was a, uh, we went and find out go sky ring, it's being sold. But they are not only selling the sky ring, they are selling the entire precinct got 90 million. So I don't know if the, the department will be able to, to, to save the sky ring now. Uh, the other thing that I would say, uh, I would like to say also, Uh, please consider going to Enkangala, Mr. Chepesin Babunlov. Abantu basa Enkangala abekola ene na boba ma akona ma creatives, but abakosla ge lengoba bagute gakulu etswane. So ngelu guti next time na boba be invited. And the other thing, ni bone i i lona i ama partnerships any now when in a partnership ne Netflix, eh, GFC. See, I tell you, next time when you call the makers with u Netflix because be babi ze i lona esantin tina basiye ngapand. So see, I tell you, na bon babi ze uguti babi kona next time. I bon akpela ni bize i DTIC because DTIC should be the one a funder i GFC. Because Tina Malona straight Amalona, because Nina, you manage Ilona if funding well, if you get Guma artist. Nkeluguti Nina, ni partner in the TIC. Number three, another uh, organization that you need to call it's FPP. FPP is saying, even if you are shooting e content in a cell phone, they are going to come after you, Bafunu Gutui register, and then you pay for it. But the FPP, I have not seen e FPP anywhere. That is Films Publication Board. Please, uh, you need to be aware, Uguti, they are going to, to, to also want you to register. Umsebenzo, oh, shooting a cell phone, yako, so that you pay a certain percentage, Gigubo. So they must come here and explain, Uguti, what do we gain? T number Another thing, Benkala Guti EGFC, please uh, link us with the, the, the link us with the veteran uh, filmmakers so that sizo kula, si collaborate nabo. When you see Ugutum Sebens Umuntu Ushute I film Lithe, please make those uh, um, efforts as Uguti see Sigwazu Uksebenza Nabanta Bafana Nabo Nabo de Bomb, for instance. Ni ni imaging so that naming zo kula. Ya yeah, um music ni shi loguti ni bone i trace so i music na bobaya funega la bazo was guti bona ba bange na ganja and gulon. And uh, the last but not least, uh, there's a group of uh, about eleven people 
uh, myself included, who got invite from the Deben International Film Festival. So we would like to know how do we go about applying. I didn't see a script development. So Ngalukbuzu, which is in any calling here, yes. I forgot to say my name. Ikamalam Ngutogo, Ngitembisen, and I also live in the, in the city of Jobek. Thank you. Thank you, um, Baba. Uh, that's not me. Baba, tell over very short, right? <laughs> Don't abuse me like the lady who just left you. You are laughing because it's a joke. It's abuse of us who agreed to say we are going to speak for two minutes, grace period to three minutes. And I knew that there will be people like her. So don't follow her. Please, my brother, continue. Yeah, Sanbonan, and Niapila, so being an illustration, John Oba Esho Uput. In your color and Jengala and Gala Ugu Ugubonga Kulu Uguti, Nikinan letter EGFC, your Nayoto, Sila Lel and Jesus Uguti. I think in your color of Fanelu Wutini Lungis and Engabang Wutinis and Melu Lungis and Zule Kulumang a five per cent adjustment to go a Maliniabo. I gotta be enough for EGFC. Remember, EGFC is the only funding. Uh, institution la accounting and as was good is by so if you don't uh, increase that budget yeah yeah it's a bit difficult imagine they're talking about 600 applications but uh, they only can be able to fund only 30 uh, 30 not 40 they they said 30 and uh, it did out of 600 they are more like a country because one common to well like how they mega figure is also if you apply hfc at the same time so seven this earlier address a figure like and then imali even on maybe to the gfc they must create a demand as well because there's no budget as well as if ever there's no demand that has been created first of all uh, i think you are not supporting enough festivals and festivals, they have master classes where they actually uh, able to have capacity building. They train producers and also prepare uh, directors and also uh, script, write script writers. Because it's not enough that you are a filmmaker. You only uh, have the information as a look sheet. But if there are continuous workshops and trainings that are happening that you support, then it will help you to create the demand and the budget will come. Uh, and then they will advocate enough. I'm a comrade, Lapayan. Send mix the cool man. Champagne ya shaya na ya pixa na too much. Okay. I think uh, one last thing that I wanted to also emphasize: How do you then uh, create that demand? Is by supporting uh, those uh, local festivals and also support those who are going to international film festivals. Because that's where they actually get to connect with what is happening in the world and come back to the, to, to, to the province or, or to the country. Uh, and as I'm standing here, we, we already have about 12 or 14 who, are, who got invitation to international uh, film festival, Devon International Film Festival. But the invitation is a it, it says we can support the transport, we can support the accommodation, we can support the catering, obviously in the entertainment, where when you are in Devon, you need that entertainment. So that we, I'm appealing to you that you must just open that door for us because we are going to Devon anyway. Uh, uh, and uh, you'll feel bad if you don't support us as we are going to Devon. So we we uh, we are requesting that you. I'm sharing this And uh, the concept that uh, Togo made an example about, which is script to screen. I'm the conceptualizer for that concept, uh, the script to screen. Uh, under archive. So thank you, Togo, for mentioning it. Anyway, angzamuz chengisa. Ikamalam ngo tabi suagam tlavu nyabong. Good. It's exactly three minutes. Next. Uh, San Bonani. Ikamalam ngo chablani tabudi. Also falling under the category imaging filmmaker. 
Um, so I just want to say something quickly. Just want to acknowledge EGFC for the sterling work that they have done in the past years. I think majority of the time our projects are funded by EGFC. And commonly so because I'm also a provincial coordinator of East Archive. What we do, we normally you know, teach those who are not well in terms of understanding how to apply and, and, and stuff like that. So for the question of why it's why Ninga and Zagal is in though is because of we are also not supported enough so that we can able to execute what we know and what we have learned from Abantu uh, who basically, you know, um, you know, who got supported throughout the years. So I just want to say thank you. And and of course, uh, at the at the at the question of um a script to to in Ibasit's and script writers, I think it belongs in a wrong department. And uh that the point face, I think you are in charge and I think you will also uh, agree with me that uh, that script to screen needs to move from from your department. Uh, it is wrong to have a script to uh, script writers at your department because you are de dealing with heritage and cultural affairs. And seemingly, so saying that, I be, I believe that the amount of money that was utilized, you know, for that project on its own uh, is ridiculous enough. Maybe if some of that portion of the budget, if we were to, to, to handle how we handle things maybe with Sakhaif, uh, a lot of us could have benefited, you know, uh, in a script to screen because it does not make sense that you're going to spend uh, two weeks or one week and then at the same time, the very same people that you have developed are not producing anything. And some of those people are not also benefiting through the, the funding that is given by EGFC. So, so it does not make sense. So I'm just appealing to that also legislature that make sure that uh, that program it is removed from that department. It's very wrong, you know, uh, and it's very wrong, wrong, wrong. So please uh, make sure that things are, are forming into, into order. And one um, last thing is that um, the, the the partnership that we have, I think uh, it's about time that um, we, we 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 get to benefit uh, through those partnership. It must not just be a project uh, that you just present to us and then tomorrow there's nothing that is happening. I think at the same time, the the, the very same way that we are opening up our um, application, let us you know do that and forward our project to it, so that at the end you can understand the the work and it will be also easy for you when you have our um, links to Umsebenz way to uh, and so that at the end you can also review um, seven's way to and be able to take those projects to uh, to the partnerships and 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 majority of the time because i'm seeing that you're also presenting in netflix in netflix guys it the only time that you're going to um submit e e e content it is through um, distribution houses and when you look at, do at those distribution houses are not you know are, are, are not focusing merely on 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 black majority you understand that's why you see my content amaning that are short the cape town you know it's only uh Ferguson, mom Ferguson has benefited through netflix and we are not really saying that uh, uh they, they must not benefit but they must also look at because we've got nice stories we've got pure stories you understand and 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 we also believe that uh with with what we have learned throughout the Yes, we can be able to challenge, you know, the international uh, content that is also appearing La Payana Google Netflix because look at the ratio uh, in terms of uh, uh, subscribers while well, I South Africa in and look at the sorry in conclusion yes yes in conclusion I'm just saying that Guti, let us uh, look at uh, that that and and be able to to make sure that at least a year within the Houting we have ten movies that are going to in Netflix. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning to the honorable committee members. Livito Laka Kate Poaha Mohot. Kate Wakiliko Bakopane Business Chamber. Now I just want to ask uh, as one of your mandates, I think you said you monitor and support local industry development in the industry. 
I would like to know in what way are you monitoring that development? Because obviously, uh, our SMMEs would like to be developed, especially in the value chain, because I think it would be cheaper for local producers if they would work with local people who have the equipment, because it, the equipment is very expensive. That's the basically my question. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, we know it's here everywhere. Sure. Next. Good afternoon, the honorable members. Good afternoon, GFC. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Bima Das, representing the Vision Communications team. And my question today is to the GFC. I would like to ask, is there any opportunities or cultivation or empowerment programs for young emerging voiceover artists? Is there any scope in the GFC to promote voiceover artists and cultivation and training for preservation of our African voices. Thank you very much. Uh, humble greetings, everyone. Uh, oh, okay, just hold on. They say they're outside. Una lokole ngwe ya duma gamola. Motho na wi sile yuduma. Agetse or na le rebara ka beamba khala. Number plate there on a give VJS672 GP. Bari yadu makole ye mara ona motho ga mwara. Thank you. Okay, greetings everyone uh, and humble greetings to the chairperson and everyone in the room. Uh, I think I'll be also be brief because some of the questions that I wanted to raise were raised by my fellow colleagues here. So my name is Eddie Ngomane, I'm from uh, uh, Phosphorus region, and it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, firstly, I just want to face my questions on the, 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 the opening remarks which was done by the CEO. Uh, he, he mentioned the, 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 ind the independent uh, uh, adjudicators that they normally hire as GFC. Uh, looking at what the National Film and Video Foundation does, uh, that call is publicized. Uh, perhaps maybe the GFC can follow the same route so that we know and we can maybe uh, recommend some of the filmmakers who can form part of that adjudicators. That's one. Um, two, uh, I believe uh, we raised these points on a quite, quite a number of occasions to say the treasury must be present in such engagement so that they can be able to take notes of what is actually happening here. Uh, yes, we understand the process and then, and, 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 you know, all the bureau, but I believe that if the treasury is here to take note of everything that is here, the recommendations that we are doing here, I believe we'll be moving in the right direction too. Uh, three, um, the, 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 the Discovery Film Summit of which I need to applaud you as GFC uh, to say that was a very great uh, initiative. Perhaps going forward, I think we'll need a report to say how far is that as far as the preparations is concerned. Then we can be able to assist with the content of what we want as stakeholders of which we are here today. Maybe the database that you will also need to have that film summit, you can also use the database that is present here. Then lastly, um, uh, uh, the, the selected uh, 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 beneficiaries to attend the film and interna uh, international film festivals, uh, based on, 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 on the applicants and the beneficiaries that you have at your disposal, uh, also, another way that maybe you can do is to also create a motivation uh, having the International Film Festival because when we want to attend such festivals, there are some challenges that we, we, that we face as filmmakers. Perhaps maybe if you can motivate that process so that we can be able to participate in such engagements. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll seize the chair. Thank you. Um, greetings, Dumela, Sanbonani, Molweni, the Macheron, and da. Ah. Okay, first of all, I would like to uh, thank the leadership of this area for allowing us as a creative sector to come to this place. That's my name, Zanda. Because you cannot come to my place without me saying you are welcome. Secondly, I would like to thank the leadership, the co portfolio committee that have just afforded the opportunity to come and meet with us. Thank you very much. Give them an applause. 
Then uh, I'll come to my colleagues as well. You are so beautiful. Because the industry that you are in is not pop and face. I was just telling my colleague that, you know, being a filmmaker is not easy, but it's enjoyable. Well, today, normally they know me as fire, someone who's spitting fire. Today, I'm not spitting fire. Today, because we must be fair. Yeah, we must be fair. For the past, like, I don't know how, how many years we've been working with GFC, but for the past three years, I, can we give them an applause? I'm not buying their face. Yeah, let's just give them an applause. GFC, Christy, because we, no matter, we just, we just check this thing. But I'm not there. I'm here. Uh, Ms. Gitumet, uh, thank you very much for your honest report because we are checking this thing as the leaders and as a creative, as a writer. Uh, now, I just want to come with a way forward because we cannot just go back and forth uh, trying to like round uh, umko mo kantina injela singapumagange. So, I heard you mentioning Ilona, Iwestrenti, Tswane, but Egurulen. It's not anywhere in the picture, and we believe Wuti, Egurule Nayo, it does have, like, I'm a artist, I'm a filmmaker, Sasa Fufusa, there is, a, like, a semi urban, it's a semi urban area, so they do deserve Wuti Nabuba Bewe. So, you only that you need a strategy. You are correct when you say, I think it's you, Mr. Uh, Mark Momoko. You say you, you cannot, I quote, and, uh, you need a strategic partnership. You are correct. So here is a sp strategic partnership. How do you small parties speak at the same time? You know, information is power. Now I would suggest, Hori, and uh, we spoke about this some years ago, Hori, if we can have information desk, we've got art centers here. These art centers must work hand in glove with uh, GFC for information, guys. For the upcoming uh, uh, art, uh, filmmakers, you understand? So we need you, that's strategic partnership you are talking about. It, it cannot happen if we don't do it like uh, practically and then we have the information desk. Where will the money come from? I heard you saying that there is 41 million, you correct me, that has been allocated and only 17 million that is going to the program. I would like to say that 17 million is still little. Yeah, it's little. Yeah, based on the number of the filmmakers that we're working with. So would you please, and uh, I, I agree, and you say that is little as well, yeah. Thank you, because you know uh, that money you're giving is little. So that's how we're gonna be able to defeat this problem. Because we will come next year or year after next, same, saying the same thing, this area is not safest, this one safe is the best, no. So we need a strategic partnership, you're correct, then, uh, in terms of, oh, we cannot, okay. Yes, you said we cannot put strategies alone. So I could, you said that, um, you are correct, you cannot, because a unit is power. We all uh, pushing this vehicle, we're gonna reach where we go. And another point that I like is just work fairly because if we're gonna continue to support the same people who have been supported years ago, you will never see that you are making progress or not. Yes, so lastly, I wanna catch on the coupon paper and say that yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, lastly, uh, let it not be like a once-off thing. This thing, yeah, uh, like engagement with an artist, because about that's why I keep it. Because I don't know if after how many years GFC came to see the filmmakers. It's children. We are your children. So, bajilening, barobetining, batlapaning, wetala. Only then, when the child will cry, then you come and say, "Hey, wetala." No. So, by so that, uh, just keep on. Let's get let's get how to live this thing and. Uh, so we have to work very much. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Wakang from Hamaskra. As a youth of Hamaskra, I'm crying because of like, I can hear that they have um, the, 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 the art house, the career house, but then Kohama Scrabble don't have them. Okay, let me just question, let me, let me just give questions. Our behalf, how long does it take for Mozanzi Magic to select our local dramas? 
by the way Kuhamaskara Rurnali TV, Hamitown TV. We have our TV channel in Hamaskara. It's not a channel by the way, but then it's TV. How can we partner with GFC or Mojolov? Is not there any is not there any script department beside Basitsana script adult? Can we have an FVF learnership in Hamas crowd? If we need a requirement, where can we ask funds for? From ask I will I will I will, I will ask the our Kirkman, the director. Our director, please humble yourself. You're working with people. Has <laughs> to. Lochane, a mena e bizola minguzon wawamukonin. A it is wami iplung, a govamina angamgeluangala. Gokto manje, Gendle langi translate Luangayola. Batengi Vulelo U Channel Four. Good Channel Four loyal Angfunyani ske to me. Of which he is kept to see single line la malimu wetoba a corner is yourself togoze yourself togoze. San Bonani, a coming and busy sea way from Gatle home. Meaning exiling Nanga cool. A Christian Sebak party in Nabanya party. I still feel good. I have to emphasize a Nizokulmang a portal. I portali ya se GFC mina according to my knowledge uh, is or was the most uh, simple uh, portal ever I've worked on. But to my surprise, manje mabebe vulile for ama applications. To my surprise, mange tinya loga in it has never happened. I system ya kona it took days uguti na yo. I don't know whether Begui update, maybe update the system or what, during Velesek Vuliwe, ama applications. And the time was limited. Ugutisi apply. And also, in uh, the load shading, it's too much. So now, if Guvula application and the system is not yet updated, it's a problem. It really affects us. Because mang ting ya loka in nama looking details meaning in now. But to my surprise, I failed. Because ETGFC is not recognizing my logging details. So I, I, I kept working on the system until at some stage I, I started creating ama logging details. Now it took time again to be accepted. So I even gave it up meaning lentole I say So Mau phone la FC. Unfortunately, they will never answer your calls. For what reason, I don't know. So our uh, tatu ma call. So ni understand ma ba tama colleagues la na melugube ne information desk to all the art centers so that at least information ibe accessible. Gunga yuwa e e just for ugyo funa information because even ma calls are not even answered. So si akre luguti. Oh, it it happened. Yeah, ma sengi ti. Towards the end of the the application, Yavela go email it. Your uh, logging details has been updated. Like, eh? I even forgot who things are apply. And my uh, saying it very too late. Be towards twenty something. I don't know. So it was too late already. And what I've noticed, Uguti, there's a good thing that we have done. A good duplication, a application is like in a form of a, a paper. It's an application on its own. Then there's this system. We should access at, at some stage. You can still fill in. But now that document, I, I can't type on it. It just shows what are the questions that are on the portal. But I, I can't type because while I'm suffering, struggling to log in and stuff, I could be feeling at least so that whenever the system comes, then I'm done. I just paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Please correct that. It is, it, it is a good thing. 
really uh, we appreciate it. It was so nice. And Ogunyege, uh, uh, I'm one of the people who got an invite to go to Deben Festival. Please, GFC, uh, 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 there's no support. We are relying on you for that event to be successful. Please, we please, because as leaders in Eguruleni, we have a, a, a great potential. So once those leaders, 14 leaders, go to Deben, at least after that festival, they will be able to come and assist and uplift the community with the skills that they will get. Please, Ninga, let it down. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Um, we are done this side. You are a good audience. <laughs> the first lady who spoke long time, and the lady who spoke now, they are the only females who represented females in this group. And that lady who spoke long time, she didn't do something wrong. Her voice was the voice of women. Because women who not have Out of 11 people who are speaking here, only Two of them. You are born alone. I see Lungis. Now I'm Zulum Tom 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 Tala, which I always say, and I'm going to say, I'm born a son. As I'm a good one. So the ones are born a son, I'm it. So it's fun like a stand and any younger band of yam. See, born a son. Don't catch feelings. Because it's all about us, all of us. No one is superior than anyone. We are all equal. Right? We are coming this side now. I'm on a session with Dalang Washa and Zimagakul. Yes, I'll come to you, GFC. You want to respond first, this side, and then we finish. Okay, let me. Okay, uh, the CEOs, assistants, and the pants. I thought like I'm for the last questions, right? CEO, she's proposing that she respond with a team this side. But on behalf of uh, honorable members, there's one member who raised the issue of that uh, finance, treasury must come here, right? Our role, Runabar Duchi Mool. Kernari approve one budget a province ya Gauti. 152 billion. So ari dutsi mongwa nesu. Ri mamela di tabatsa lona tse le bolela GFC. Hore MEC wa sports ha ri ke kopa chelete e oketswe ka mo department nyaka ya sports. O mametsa ke. A bua ka ra legislature o panya za lesufi the premier. Renari political leaders, tell you regarding government, they are counting. Our parliament, they are counting. We need to be realistic in responding on what people are saying on the ground. Why would want to? So, ki uke ay would want to live under recopa for treasury everything. Renak mameti in a sense of saying we need more funds for GFC so that GFC can do more for us on the ground. Ya no kin na muto yo aki kenaka ra parliamentel ha MEC ya sports a re ko pela chelete ya GFC yo ke tsiwe o tla mpona ki hema mola ntebeletse ko YouTube ki quote ke I was in Davidton our people on the ground they said they want more money to GFC so I stand to support that because ki mmere ko aka ka ra parliament ya Gauteng go bua selo se batho ba se buang on the ground because Lona represents Lona. Otogala kept Siri appearing here political party. Haki wua like this now, ki wua as a member of provincial legislature. Ki kao fela ha Lona, rinto e wan. Yes, GFC needs more funds. And the issue of other people here, but once by a deben again, but they don't have funds. It's a serious concern. So I want to hear the CEO Oto Ring. How about that two solo more on our mullet in my van and really go Captain Park to say some of the things you must throw them to committee 
so that we can speak to the MEC because we are politicians. We'll speak on the side of politics and say, how can we assist this uh, uh, entity called GFC? Over to you, CEO. Thank you, honorable member. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you to our beloved stakeholders for the inputs that I must indicate that some really would allow us as we go forward, incorporate into our planning and into our policies going forward. Let me respond to but just a few. I'm sitting with Mac. I've got Formosa on the ground, and we will be responding accordingly. Um, strategic partnerships, there was a question around 4K cameras. The type of equipment that we provide, we literally take into consideration the type of specs that you need, because these type of uh, cameras, we want them to allow you to produce content that will be fit for all types or different types of uh, platforms. So we do take that into consideration and I have uh, indicated to Mac that I am aware that the 4K is one of the standards that we just make sure that we update if it's not uh, that type of quality. There was um, input to say we need to invite Netflix, DTIC, and FPB. I must just report that we're trying to finalize an MOU with Netflix. And one of the issues that they've raised with us is that they are reviewing their current structure for South Africa. And once that is being finalized, we will then engage with them uh, from a structural point of view because they are dealing with their current structure. They will then invite us um, for a formalized MOU. So once that is done, what we really intend to do is we don't want the information just to be kept to the elite. It's important for the information to cascade down. Similarly, with what we said to SABC is we know that you open calls, but can we have a call ring fenced to for how day? And once we do that, we need to know what the requirements are. So what is a department to the next before endorsement, we will then have joint workshops. Uh, I've also had a meeting with the FPB CEO. We've agreed that we will have an MOU together with the road shows. And um, one of these issues that has been raised here is one of the issues that we'll just try and understand how we make, how we can make particularly emerging filmmakers work easier. So these are partnerships that we've been embarking upon, which we will be finalizing our MOU. So please be on a lookout for our road shows, particularly with SABC and FPB because these discussions have already taken place. We just need to uh, finalize the MOUs. DTIC, we are engaging with DTIC, but it's not going at the speed that we are looking at or wanted. And among others, we really, really want to look into a mentorship program a mentorship program that will link more established and up and coming. I did note that there was a comment of that, no, of, of that nature. But also more importantly, um, we did several meetings with Simulukong, with uh, Animation South Africa, and a number of institutions. And what really saddens us is when we engage with these um, organizations, you realize and I'm making just an example, that only 20% or even 10% of the beneficiaries are black and are from disadvantaged areas. And this is the picture that we want to change in animation because you note that globally there is a demand for the skill. So once we finalize with DTIC, we're going to try and push to say, how do we now start getting talent, particularly for animation, to start 
um, being developed as well. So I think this is one of the saddening things that we've discovered and we are working together. And part of the business case that we will be making through um, the various channels uh, during budget adjustments is particularly in this particular area of uh, mentorship. So we will report on that. The data is raised about issues here supporting local festival and international festivals. One of the things that we are looking at this particular year is we've made a list of some of the known and the ones that we have on our database festivals. And we will look into some funding, you know, a level of funding to some of local and also regional. So it's something that we are looking at and that we will be um, considering funding going forward. With regards to festival attendance, one of the things that we realized over the last year is the call system is not working. We open up a call come April. You get an invite come July after the call has closed. So what we have done and what we've discussed in the last management meeting, committee meeting, which actually took place this week, colleagues made a plea to me to say, can't we deal with festival attendance differently. So we made a commitment to say we need to put systems in place on a monthly basis when there is a submission that is supported with documentation. We will then have the internal team looking at it and making recommendations to myself for funding. I have had the plea DR DFM and also it's important to note that when we fund festivals, our funding we need to account to the AG, to the portfolio committee. So we link it with targets. So if the target for quarter one for festival attendance is say for example four, we, and the budget let's say for example is 80,000, we will then support four. Unless if it's coming from, um, let's say, I suppose it's coming from Sakai, you can then say, with this four, we've got 80,000, we can support eight. But it's important to remember that we've got frameworks of government that we need to align ourselves to. So what we'll also do post this meeting is we'll go back and then finalize next week on the mechanism of the system for attendance, there will be a deadline to say every month this is the time frame. We are cognizant and will try very much not to exceed um, the time frame. We are aware that quarter one is ending now, end of June, so we will definitely deal with the festivals for this quarter as soon as possible. Um, Independent adjudicators, I'm not going to bite all, I'll allow my team to come and respond. Independent adjudicators, we do put out the call publicly. The current adjudicators are actually right at the end of their term, and once again, we will put it out um, publicly. It's important to us that we get the right quality of people adjudicating projects and who understand the sector not only locally but internationally because what we want is we want pro projects that can reach global market. We are busy already. In fact, next week we'll be engaging with international investors because we want funding. So what we want is the type of projects and products that come through to be able to suit such markets. So it's important to note all of that. Dada Albert, I was simply saying, the three regions must shake up and make sure that your applications come in numbers. Because you know what adjudicators do. So if you've got city of Jobek, Ikuruleni, and um, you don't have for other regions, they allocate to those two. 
and you end up outside. So I have said that there needs to be equal distribution to all of those, with emphasis being those three. Those three because we need applications that we support. We no longer want to say, let's take the Tswane allocation now back to city of Joburg because Tswane did not apply. Oh, Tswane applied, but information Yabon was not compliant. And Homoto will tell you that. It's very sad to decline an application because tax affairs are not in order or whatever the issues are. So please, um, our beloved stakeholders, let us work together in that. Moja Love, we have a, a partnership with them, and um, we, we, we are engaging with them. We look forward to engaging with other communities, uh, stations as well, so yeah. Um, let me just take the portal matter. I've asked the IT manager to say, what's happening to the system? He's then come back to say to me that we need to look into the end user internet problems. However, we'll go back and review our system. I've taken the inputs because this system is not for us, it's for you. The system has been such a way that you don't spend hours on it or struggling. So it's continuous improvement and we will look at it. I will take this back as feedback. Mac and Komoto will then respond to other technical issues or even uh, some of the matters that you raised that I did not respond to. Thank you. Uh, thank you for those uh, questions and inputs. Um, let me start with the issues when it comes to the issue, I guess, of the language or how the portal act. Indeed, we are reviewing um, and how to simplify the application process. So that is uh, indeed key for us to ensure that when you do apply, and we'll take the suggestion of indeed the um, when the system is offline or when you are not able to access it, how can you be able to um, to at least fill in your form uh, and then upload it in future. I think the, in relation to the Netflix matter, it's been dealt with. There was an issue of, I think, the pitching as well in terms of awareness. Uh, indeed, part of what we've been wanting to do um, when we do take the call out, is this, we are, we've been awaiting to finalize the upgrade, or sorry, the, the revision of the policy. Because even some of the suggestions of indeed uh, segmenting or saying that certain projects need to then be given to certain regions, these are the things that need to be firstly approved in terms of policy. So once that is done, we will then be conducting roadshows uh, but we do take the suggestion of indeed having regional uh, awareness uh, uh, and communicating um, how the usage of the application process. In terms of script development, uh, we've also realized that because we are only supporting eight script development projects and if we only do six in this call and then have to open up later in the year for only two, it becomes a challenge to then get everyone excited, you apply, and then only to find that indeed you are, we are only going to recommend and approve two projects. So we are going to have a special call um, that will be taking place uh, next month. So please look out for that. Then in terms of creating demand, um, it goes without saying that we do need to have a lot of activities. I mean, COVID is now a thing of the past. Having festivals and having screenings is part of the initiatives that we are doing. Uh, we've started to support initiatives such as your drive-in cinema, your outdoor screening. So um, we have also then reviewed how we support festivals. You will note that these festivals are not on the uh, past application call. So no festival uh, support was part of the call. So we will then be looking at all the regional festivals 
and then identifying them and requesting them to submit. So quite likely that we'll then be looking at, for instance, in Ekuruleni, there's a three festivals taking place. In the Val as well, we know that there are three festivals or key festivals taking place. We will then request those to be um, uh, sub uh, submitted and then we will then um, shortlist them and, and then support accordingly. Uh, I think the script to screen, we, we are uh, indeed will engage the department. Uh, I think uh, we'll indeed try and see how to align best and not uh, duplicate. But I think these are script development programs and the more we have, also it is better for you and for those who are, um, can participate. For instance, the Basetsana one is geared at uh, women and, and um, uh, the LBGTIQ community. So therefore, the other script to screen projects are also still relevant for us to support. Then in terms of, uh, for instance, how are we supporting um, voice over artists? Currently, indeed, we, this is, it's similar to the musicians. We, we do not support them directly, and we, we support them through a project. So if indeed a project is, requires a voiceover, um, there's animation projects, we then uh, will then support you. But if, for instance, there's a mentorship or there's a special program that you want to do in terms of supporting and developing voiceovers, because we also understand that the commercial um, industry space, uh, the people who do commercials, that is a, a very um, a fast growing and, and a very interactive and also there's a lot of commercial uh, projects be taking place. So we will then um, get in touch with that association, the Commercial Producers Association, and for instance, see how we can then have a database of voiceovers and sk specialized skill um, uh, practitioners. There was also a question on, on um, how do emerging or uh, equipment, a local producer or local uh, um, suppliers. Uh, on our website, um, there is a, 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 a section where we are looking to um, ensure that we businesses are able, or, or businesses within the sector, are able to then profile themselves and also then be uh, uploaded for them to be able to do business to business uh, and to market themselves. So uh, as part of uh, locations, we've then moving towards also profiling uh, businesses on our website. I think at this point I will, uh, there's a question I think in terms of local uh, TV station, I think it was from the gentleman from Hammanskral, sorry he was a bit faint. Uh, I will just possibly in the next round um, respond to that. But in essence we are keen to find out local TV stations that are taking place or that have been established and uh, what content they have. And if you can indeed just provide us with your details, uh, Homozo is av available and um, we'll be able to, to share with you. Um, about indeed doing documentaries. Uh, and, and for we do have a category under document under content and production support. Um, which specializes in heritage and historic content. Um, the committee is aware of this. The, there's a, the category only has four projects that we can support per year. That is indeed quite a, a small number. This is just an, we had just started with this initiative and we are getting a lot of interest. And I think in also in working with the department and uh, with the increased allocation we will indeed be able to support more of these initiatives. I think I will pause there and indeed we, we take your, your, uh, your frustration and notes with regards to the application process and we will be uh, rectifying 
some of those uh, glitches and also communicating back to you timelessly. Thank you. Um, uh, CEO, CEO, are you done with your team? Um, yes, sir. I would like, Dr. Demati, if you can just respond to the matter of the call, um, the non-responsive here, the reception, uh, quickly. All right, thank you, CEO. Um, good morning, and good morning to the portfolio committee, the chair, and uh, the GFC team and everybody present. Um, with regards to the issue of uh, the calls that are not being answered, we have had some complaints before and we've attended to the matter. We do have a receptionist who's fully on board and attends to calls. And because our team works and normally they're not always in the office because of the nature of the work that we do, for instance, we therefore are provided with uh, cell phones for to be able to take calls, but sometimes it's not always possible because we find that you are in the middle of an engagement. But we do have a receptionist that takes messages and they forward messages so that we are able to respond after some time. And as well, we also are operating with a skeleton staff, I should indicate, because as the GFC currently, we are not fully capacitated in terms of uh, staff because of the challenges which they might have been spoken to uh, before, but we are addressing those challenges internally. So sometimes it becomes hard because we find that it's the same people who have to respond to the queries, and sometimes they have to be in other events and other work commitments. So with the capacity that we have, we are doing our best to make sure that all the calls get attended to. You may not be attended to immediately, but obviously after some time, because the, uh, the receptionist does then send an email notification to that relevant unit to, to notify you that there is a query of this nature and then you respond accordingly. So we're just requesting that um, uh, the, the artists do bear with us because we have some challenges that, do, uh, that we do face uh, in terms of capacity and also the nature of our work. It's not always possible, but we're trying our best. Thank you, CEO. Thank you. Um, next side. Yeah. Live a very short. I'm going to give up my fail. I won't tell you what I'm Do you know that? Hi. <laughs> Come, there the back. Yeah. Follow. 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 Get over a gun at it for you. Also, I'm going to tell you, so except my talk, I want to make it. Why me? When I am so? When? It. O garu afu tumal. Is about. Come. 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 When I learned to go more last time in the lead year, come. I live here jale nyango collapse at the meeting jale na. Come. This thing of black on black fighting doesn't work. I'm trying to I'm trying to accommodate everyone. You saw again. This side I accommodate everyone. Usho dama. Wo na ma perkis. Mama wo ke na la pwanget. Uh -uh. Okay, no, ma'am. So, I'm going to go to my chance takers. Man, Valile, so don't think you can even do 
try something. Nvalangawe mama. And we meet in our recordings. I have my God. I honorable him. We closing all our mama. Tell us we're short. We allocated one hour. I know the chair was on was on thirty some hospital. Two minutes. Shoot. San Bonani. Eh, kama la mukolani. Eh, sana muge la late vichan. Eh, zoba short. Inde ngufunugu ibuza. It's about the eh, technical crew. Gashe gash. Abanta ba yenza i lighting and um, and uh, sound and stuff. Uguti as EGFC and nani i legislator. How do you protect them? Go industry when it comes to my freelance let's say with international companies because you find good bona they are insured and stuff and um, when it comes to good i'm a crew in not because of you are a freelancer you end up not getting jobs but mark vela your job you get exploited you don't have a choice you have to take that job so as nina ilich is later what are you going to do to protect a crew that's what I want to ask. Yeah, I think that's enough. Sanbonani. Sanbonani. I know that I'm going to go to the table. Sanbonani. Utolo. In the Vogas Gam Cont, A was one who see always by fate, Fabo, and Cond away bump. Homer, what is an exile? You're mostly Hibo. Yes, in Sunday, the Lenjaks of Buga in a lunch of a meal. And the only years it turned by Loguti, even Nom Serenza Razo and Zagitina is a matis to Zoba Mosley, or Fanny Nye. A minangine request to go to FC, ne? As I'm a filmmakers, I see now in our like e I'm a musicians. See, as it's in good master to Palingoma, we go to Sambro and do copywriting or e low music way to. But we we film industry, Gunzima, guys. I am George of my ideas way to hang on. I am George of my ideas. Upale e content. The next thing you see content with TV, and when I will submit it with TV, we have a new season. So, if you go to Mkambe, I will be kind of like, I will see something like Samro in the office of EGFC. Maybe let us have e, a letter, something like a memo, or something written down by EGFC. A, a show you see we have copyrighted e content yet with EGFC. For example, maybe I'm doing a reality show. As in Sazos and Jenzo Etela, Leo Letale, Maspumala. And is a witch you have seen, you should. I have this content. So, Gelutini, you pay even learning any fund, but the learning you pay a recommendation letter as each FC Uti, Niangazi, Ninga, Neenu, just that and Kongung funder because I invu Melutini fund for a reality show, but Ninga Eco ahead, Uti, you apply a guess in Yindao, you apply this reality show. If Nibon Uti, it will benefit. I how ten or even if it's nationally, money born which is a raiser if like ye ye how ten film office as in this of a new moon to also get to one is peg. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. My name is um, Brian Mukwena. Uh, I was kidding me, you're probably wondering what Brian over time. This is my paternal home, born and bred in 12308 Mukwapani Street, here in Davidton. When they say, I think Tabiso, and quite a number of people, when they say somebody has seen it all in terms of the arts sector, I'm probably one of the few people who can actually write a book and tell you what's happening. Been in the music industry, been in the film industry, been in TV industry, one of the projects that we attempted to do, Leowski to Metsi, was to open the doors because away to TV, wherein your products every Friday and Saturday could be played by that channel because most of you, you get funding, and then what happens to the products that you guys are funded to lead? You don't get an outlet for those things to be seen anyway. 
So before I left Soweto TV, I left that kind of a legacy. Hopefully, Auski Tumetsi is very uh, vigorously pushing that. Because Gauteng were the only province in Alain Laki where we've got three community TV stations. And those community stations, they are out there making sure Babatladi products day in and day out. But what is surprising is that the money that it taxpayers that is funding all these projects, those projects are the so they are together at us and Alina Access. So now as a young boy, or should I say a man from Davidton who has seen it all, who is currently running another production house, I'm sorry, Kitosa Nogargia Bosta with Chico Twala, which is known as Black Film, Black Story Films, I mean to say. We have recently managed to realize Hore, there is quite a number of outlets that Rona as African people were not utilizing. For example, if I were to ask a simple question, Chairperson Yari, how many of our film producers that are here know anything about an organization called Independent Producers Organization? How many of you are members here? Can you just raise your hand? Let me see. None. But do you know that those guys, they've got a revolving door to NFVF? They've got a revolving door to the SABC, to multi-choice, wherein they're determining on the processes, the funding that Luna, an African child who's from the township, are not aware of. Yes, it's true. IPO, tell me so you know. When you go there to multi-choice, you for your product to go there. You are normally told about the guidelines that you guys did not workshop. Those guidelines, the ones that are even on SABC, these are from IPO. And IPO, guess who is in charge and who is in control of IPO? It's the former white people, Bavari Filimbo Isidingo. And I'm sorry, some of their senior executive members are Zimbabweans and Malawians. Lo, now an African child, you are not there. You need to ask yourself a simple question. How long will this government carry on to sponsor and sponsor and sponsor your products? Ask yourself a simple question. Or five years from now, a young kid, will he or she be able to get any funding from NFVF or GFC? No. It's because Mahoa and our foreign brothers and sisters, but it's like together out there and making sure that by it all of this money. I.e., I've recently met somebody that I went to visit with. He's the head of film, ya MTN. MTN, they've got a lot of money that they are giving out there for film producers, all that they need, a film that can be broken down into a five minute, and it's a lot of money. The minimum that they can give is 250,000 rent. But the question is, how many of the kids here in the township are able to do such things? So I am saying all this, to the leadership on the table. Enough of spoon feeding Banaba Africa the next round of workshops that we need to do as an industry is to bring James Provost from MTN. Is to bring company Putumantego Boma to be here and workshop our people. Is to bring Vodacom to come and tell us well, what is the process that they have that will make sure that an African child from the township and the rural areas Atamele I go through to under that money is to make sure that tabi so that I normally that I get booked kibona from Gosa Kive and guide you on the processes. Somebody say we design le wana tao access a NFVF. Were you all aware DTI na le chale tenga ta hambe ya the films that they are giving out there for the film producers? You guys, you didn't know. You don't even know the guidelines it's on. The next round here the workshops should involve such things. The next round here workshops, it should also involve safety officers. There's an organization in the SABD Swang, safety officers. When you want to book a location or a music festivals, what are the procedures that you need to follow so as the city motion can be able to support you? It's called Event Safety Officers Organization. You need such structures, little tools. The question that I'm going to leave you with, out of everything that has been said, mo ke ausnoni, likeni le ingi finance wise, 
Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Slalo, uh, Comrade Tulani, and the committee members. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, CO, Mark Amanda. Uh, Chairperson, I'm going to be very short and sweet. There are two questions that I want to bring them to you. Um, first question, Chair. We were in Alex last time. When we met in Alex, I raised the question of, fun, of funds of GFC, which was the second time when I was raising them. And I told you that it's very small. You cannot tell me that you're coming back to us as a chairperson in the committee. You, don't, you haven't even finalized what, what, what were the points that I raised last time. And you're still coming back to ask us, what do we want? We are asking you, what have you brought to us? Because last time, when I said in, in legislature, can you please increase the budget of GFC? Can you, I, I said again, in Alex, can you please increase the budget of GFC? Um, I think that's the first point that I want to make. The second point is that, uh, Chairperson, can we please stop having acting, acting in GFC? Can you please give these people uh, their positions? Because they are working tireless. You see, Mark, maybe he wakes up at 2 o'clock starting to do our projects. I'm one of the beneficiaries. We need that money. But he wakes up at early morning. I was, I'll be sleeping, dreaming of my grandfather that died long time ago. But Mark is already at work. Chair, please, can you take this, uh, uh, this issue very serious? Because there's no money. Imagine that I applied for 350000 they won't even fund me 350000 because they don't even have money. They don't have budget to fund me. Kachen, Gyakchela. Thank you. San Bonane. No me la pambili o San Poevagantlovu, Nwala David Wanami. I'm a director at La Ho Production, slash stand coordinator, slash producer. Uh, so, uh, we on a project uh, which is a drama series. We shot it 2019. It's called Essence So Movie. This project, with my co partner, with our money, we've been uh, applying. We never got a uh, 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 Go on my platform. Of teaching na 20 years in the film industry, film and television industry. I come overseas and turn up with James Bond, na bo Denzel Washington, na bo Leonardo DiCaprio. But here at home, as recognized, need funding, na cent, na five of nix. Si sporta i talent la ilok shini. Ekti saban tu si abatata spa migiste chozi abanye. We started our production. Just to showcase its talent level. Must submit as a picture um seven's way to, to much love to SAPC to Netflix to Showmax. Usizo as little still Melesians in it to be recognized. I'm one of a ten stunt men. About recognize what you can Google there. About recognize what abroad, overseas. But here at home, nothing no even how thing it let's honor these guys. Spanigama Awards. They went abroad, they represented Eguruleni or South Africa, but we are not recognized. Do you know Sunny Point Loof? I'm asking everyone there. Do you know Sunny Point Loof? Do you know Sunny Point Loof? No one knows me. But you can pose that question to both Daniel Craig, both Denzel Washington. They will tell me, oh, they know Sunny Point Loof. But here home, we are not recognized. Please know your people. Please. Please. That's a plea. Thank you. Sanmanani? Sanmanani? Ninjani? Um I'm going to be the representative of Creatives from a Force Law. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with you see or Pumile and Bengfunu Kurumanai directly. Now I have to speak to Mac again. I've spoken to Mac before. 
I'm speaking to him again, you know. Um, but anyway, being fun of you, um, see a bomb of good in even a lama engagement, my brother. Yes, oh, see, oh, we enjoy lying up hands, but we are we are mega 30 10 minutes. If you have she's a good you want direct, Ungana what my we are cool man. If it's, it's up to you, it's your choice. Okay, thank you. I'll wait. What you are waiting for? Her. I'll wait for her. No problem. Because it can be your chance to speak to her. Because somebody else put its hell like a spice. Or have I okay it's our rabbi foco? Or I'm why no no fire on pa. Why one of them? Go back and dump down. Eh, could you maybe say, kill a boy who bat thing, kill a well, but what thing, bana? A libiso kim people bully about David Tony more from the Nalidi Zakamoso Sports Arts and Culture. Eh, Pusoka in Kihu Refella, Banabakatang, who is a Sikolo, when Daniel diploma, ya film making, editing, so on to zero, to Soyabona by Manning giving. I know of a Banababa baby by in saying service, oh, if you don't owe one on a Jala told him service, he security card, in Banali diploma, ya film making, so Copa was about two Soyabaka if Mana Mo giving now, or but about Holm service, but to a bill. Uh, information desk David information from that uh, information desk. Uh, thank you so much. I think Thank you so much, uh, ma'am, for coming back. So the reason why I'm here is to speak to you directly, um, and hopefully with the portfolio com committee listening. Um, Meg said that you guys approve 30 um, projects, or you approve uh, 30 um, projects out of 800. That is less than 1%. Are you aware of that? So if 41 million is going for less than 1%, you understand, Uti, you are not even scratching the surface of supporting creatives. Um, the last time I spoke to Umek, I spoke to you about um, compliance, you remember? Um, I know compliance is, is a policy issue, ne? but you guys are very smart. And come up with other ideas. You know, maybe people can apply and actually, because uh, Ilona, compliance is Dora. Maybe they can use that part of that funding to 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 you know to fund the, the, the compliance. You understand what I'm saying? Rather than just rejecting somebody because I got comply. A compliance, you know, going to a, an accountant, the minimum charge that they charge you just to comply every year is five thousand rand. That's that's what I have been paying. That, that's what I've been charged. And I'd, I'd really appreciate if, if I can get somebody or cheaper, you know? But that's what I have to pay. And at, 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 the, end of the, at the end of the day, I haven't achieved anything, anything out, out of paying that uh, 5,000 rand as a creative. So we are suffering out there as, 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 as creatives, you know? The uh, organization here is about young people, you know? And I know, Guti, you, you guys, when you call out to uh, for people that uh, you're going to, you know, experiential learning in your offices, you always call under 35s. You know, in most cases, it's mostly under 35s. It's about Dala, you, you know, we've been in the industry, you know, we can contribute constructively, but we are not being considered, you know, and it's, it's unfair. So, can you please revise that as well? So, um, and, and the, the, the other issue is uh, e-development. Uh, I, I know a lot of people have talked about e-development. You've also mentioned it. But it's, this is just an emphasis, Uti. You know, can you reach out to us in the townships? It's, it's, it's I think, the, f the first time in Bona in a township, Begusse Alex, eh, Alex. And it's the second time now. Nise Lokshin. I don't know, you, you Umek said that you established 2002. But you've never, you don't come to the townships. Nishalema office in A, you don't answer calls. And through the phone, 
nizo smigisa kubo bonke la bantu base ofisini. Go and speak to this one. Go and speak to this one. Go and speak to this one. You send an email, no response. Dumelang, testing. Dumelang, Kaufela. Hello, honorables. Uh, my name is Zawadi Koza. I am the co founder of Pre Show Time, which is a skateboarding organization. And uh, I was recently employed at Decathlon, which is a sports store. Um, that's why I'm wearing the bib now. But I came here uh, to represent the interests of skateboarders who are making a career out of skateboarding as athletes or artists who use the sports as their medium. So with that said, uh, pre-show time was started by me and my colleague Showtime. He's a skateboarder. I've been a filmer and a photographer. I actually started studied digital arts at VITS. I had to drop out like during COVID and everything. Um, but during the time since I haven't returned to school, I found out that my passion is in skateboarding um, and specifically filming skateboarding. So my questions today are more like related to basically um, how the GFC can contribute to skateboarding in the country. So my first question is, do the projects applied for have to be financially lucrative or can they be purely artistic endeavors? So in skateboarding, our main thing is skateboarding parts, which is just to show your skill as a skateboarder to potential sponsors. Um, so that is the primary medium that we work on. Um, however, um, uh, brands like Red Bull have done a lot to contribute to the film industry in the country for skateboarding by having projects. They bring over international people and stuff like that, and then they film and document that whole experience. So I'm wondering if there's any sort of prog programs that can be led by the SRAC and GFC to give opportunities to like local skateboarders. Um, so the second thing is, do you guys have something like a GFC light, um, which is basically for products that are already done and we just need funding maybe for an event, a screening type of thing. Um, so if that's the case, I'd like to know. And the third thing is, how do you profit from all of the projects that uh, are brought to you? So like, I understand that as a government thing, there's probably funding that comes from like our taxes and stuff like that, but like, I'm just curious about how that remains sustainable. Uh, just uh, I just like to know that, and yeah, that's about it. I'm Zawadi Koza from Soweto. Thank you. Greetings to one and all. Greetings to the panel as well. The name is Rani Lachman. I'm from Actonville and Whiteville. I represent Actonville and Whiteville. I work with Eco Development. I'm a social skills worker for the SAPS, which is the police, and I'm a leader for CCFA on heritage. Uh, I've got a question for Mac, if you could please help me. It's a request, not a question, sorry. Uh, looking at the youth of Actonville, Whiteville, could we kindly have workshops? I've been in this industry for th from 1918, 1990. We never ever had workshops in Actonville. I think I attended one in Whiteville, but can we please request this coming up on your skills that you spoke about, the projects, skills on heritage. I'm involved in heritage. Heritage is coming up. Can we have workshops for our youth? We have many children that's out of matric now, and none of them are taking part in all these activities. The youth and unemployment is so bad, and I think you're aware of it. So this is a request that I'm asking, please, 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 to come up between Whiteville. I represent Whiteville and Actonville. I don't know if you've been to Actonville. It's a huge township, and uh, yes, we do have facilities to have workshops. Thank you. Lachani Gentley. Akulu. I was told man, I visual mina gumza kechiani, gumshalu ala piti vitwan. Togo the lab. And tanda no togo za engapa kuhauteng legislature. Naguchi if see, nyatogoza nagu. Nukalanga po houten legislature, 
Ang togo zungoba bako na people. Ang togo zanje pele kutuba na siskati sabantu. Ba na siskati togo engage in community in different places. The young into into ni togo zela. Eneng togo zela ne GFC ngoba songe le siskati bengkela ba pendulili. So inda ba yami ba laite nuguti eh. Skale maluksi in people. Jo mashala la maluksi ni isi economy kodi situation es na yo. Nye kifana na sema sababs. Ya well, mina ngomuntu wa lai David Tony. Mpila kakulu. Ngapopo makrizani. Nanga lewe ulos mecheri. Nanga pe basotwi. Kune nda wezi disadvantages. Katu kuhimi kuku before. Maso nga ma RTP houses. So into say sele la uguta ma facility. Aweko. Ena mao engecha abantu. Abantu basu kuchwe lintu yuwani. Ukuta ilo government a simbuni. Maje na inda abengu satanda kui kuluma. Especially kui wabuka jeni. Benga tanda kutu nga engecha i department. Yes, reg. Ukutu banga abi ama officials pela. Wasema officini. Makubi ama officials wase bantwini. Wae nkuluma ganja. Ama social worker ya suga i bantwini. Ayo ba engecha ba explain it. So that when people mabati kutu ba explain it. Banga guazgu ba yema officini wabu. Mwaba i totally di explanation. So imagine how people work and understand the people. How people work and understand. Because it's not official, it's not boban. I don't know people. No man, no man, I figure out how to engage, how to cool man. But you should do government a gana mal. Can't be no man zelen zelen in America government or zelen ama programs. But he ma ma program from January until December. Eba now for abantu. Are you good to me? Nangizo. Demand him the government. In other words, he has got it. When I go pay, when I go pay, so go now go hawk, so now go ban ban. When I go pay, so now you demand the government. But my question is, if program is about you go pay, I'm telling you, you must move to civil society. I'm telling you, go go to GFC. Go to your trailer. Go to buy some sponsor. Go to buy the trailer. My workshop. I run that one. I'm telling you, I'm official, direct, West Rag. I'm telling you, I'm not a suge by the way. Boyo kola boba chela, nangye moto zaka maspala, babuye, bazo chela ii komunisi, kutukuna ma program aso. Man just understand the people. No mama uza utu engecha wona bantu bala ilokshin. Asa tolu kutu tila na bantu yo community, o tila na ma private companies. Mama mutu zok chela nite wana, no mama atu kuluma na kutu, hey, I'm running my own company, you know. Man just angazi manju kutu kase kase. So go and talk to them, man. People don't tell each other short stories. They don't tell each other. But there's any part of us who is going to end up. Then they will never see at the end of people. Then they will say, "What are you doing?" Before we go to the ship in Samoa, we will have a sugar la. We are going to Miami cars. And the people are going to be there. They are going to be there. They are going to be there. My people are going to be there. They are going to be there. They are going to be there. They are going to be there. To show good then that we prior, but it changed over. There was no strict government by that. Some more department. The community is the one that checked the police this place. From when my seventy six riot, nineteen twenty one, June nineteen seventy six, March Lassello at the end of. Was those and my eighties, but was Lassello at the end of. Yes. So man, she, my so come back with Scotty, he civil. Organization bangi na abo doctor doctor nene na abo doctor zwani na kata s attend akon bangi na abo inki la band ye ne pia thank you ne piso punga pa umbande um piso beskali la guye la waza na ila numa mu meri tabuli social worker abantu kati ba engage a community ba ta attend ako ba denda o sa as from today sa transformer si ens gubay nda o Yugu tisinga engecha, abanto wana, na bobonka abanto. Yukaratu na ngubaba nga kaze, yukaratu na zonki tobeziza la. Na bobonka abanto wana bafunu kwa ekta, bobabu rusha chwa, joba bebi zongo rusha chwa. It was the community nye ko i department ya srek. So maji department ba isme ya srek, ma sekona. Ang saba toli minu kutsebe nzana. Ang saba zguti so gui private place, or so gui nda, or so gui nda yoko, ang saba zima zguti so gui yin. Ngoba na ngama weekend yu fali yu. Yin ke namsha anje pati Isaac sa subo ni kutu kwenye zaga lan ku aims manje sisi busi nte wa ni manje kuti ngabe la ma facility la wan jo ma sna sna bantu ma mebe department what are they doing people sengi aikwa la ni portfolio committee kuti ni ngasa engage ti na sengi ma stakeholder iyanakubantu ma department ama official na ibu no ba engage 
Uguti from January until December, what improvement any letter are you able to do? Mabu says, Zolo anani, but you are fighting with the wrong table. Mabu kache ni nyakela, Uguti from la, na kwa manya malugish. Please, engecha. Mabu, usi slogata la utogo. Sisa enka ngala, masifike enka ngala. We were set. Mabu bantu anabakona, but skalile ni nenbuye chowani speguti. Manga bukuna something misassisting. Upra trebiso was there. Yes. Yes. So manje nyaktola pratavit zonge nada mara besengi shoguti bona labo bantu la bantu anabai ba engeza tina si civil society organization what about the department na officials wabo I hope you show good na la pengana li i department i kona mara ba ye bantu in or ba ya kuma private companies I don't know people so we capitalism what I understand good South Africa is a unitary state. It's a unitary state in Alanja Laguti Sangene. I get come to treat different than Omunu Moon. Manga will own treat a pair and own treat a right and over New Yenzimad. What about the civil society organization? I represent the community. I represent the forget lab of people. Thank you. I was a trouble is your history, man. Wisdom. Sure. Thanks, sis. Bayete. Bayete. I'm a monarchist in that way. I grew up here. The history that's been told, I'm part of it. Naki product from Bopa, while it was theatrical. It became a film, but I got lost along the way. Well, I represent storytellers on AV and theatrical. They are intertwined. However, I have to tell you why. The Kenyans. Why? Because I was there and I told them a certain story. So they, they encouraged me to get the whole feature film. It, that was in 2011. So I've been trying uh, to apply and all that. Other compliances, like you have to be central database and everything. But my issue is, everywhere I go, on the continent and whatsoever, when I tell this, when I relate this story, people ask me, what is your government doing? Do they know you exist? I have to say, Now, the reason why I'm here today, and I've decided to take a mic from Tatiola, Anal Bohali Sali Sweet. The reason why I picked up the mic is because last year, September, October, I could tell you that there was an attention. Okay, um, um, last year, when I turned 54, if you care to know, a friend of mine from LA, we are a story sack. So I have producers, I won't name drop, but I have well known producers, Newale Kambatlo, it's the other movies. But a story sack. Now, what is happening is they take the production treaty policy very seriously. And they've seen my story. Do I have any backup? Um, and a protection um, as a filmmaker. Because my story goes from Venda to. Atlanta, then to Bunjibai. So it's a continental story, but my, um, the, the lead was educated in, in, in US. That's why it's easier, or it was easy to access the United States people. Now, when I wrote the story, I said the the music, musical story scoring would be Mascanti strings with the Senegalese and so on. 
Now they are also worried about uh, revision, the sound tracking. Bambuzuru, what am I doing about it? They have, I protected that knowledge. I don't know where to start. So, Honajuale, Nikir Kitro Boza Ore, Kyoto, my colleagues are asking for to be capacitated, to be workshopped, and all that. Nagiri, Rehailoki Production Treaties. We cannot protect our work, or we do not know how to protect our intellectual property. Kihutele Huntatewa cultural curation about heritage stories as well. I want to talk to that The film, it's not just the, dia the dialogue, it's not just music, it's also fashion. I have noticed that the Chinese are using our print, our undeveloped print which we already adopted. and graduation. I need to know. There is a cultural something um, council that is getting paid. Once something is designed by the Mashangus, I'm, I'm just giving an example. When something is designed by a certain marginalized group, and I'm going to film them, then it publicized. How do we, that knowledge, other than just preserving it, how do we make sure they become part of that economy? Since 2011, Horina Grikalagai with the IKS, Harafitela who musical scoring. How do I protect, especially the my other people who are not South African? As a South African, when I work with people from Central Africa, and how do we work with their Arts department or with the film. If it's like three minutes. Thank you. Very, very sally sweet. Mokwa kaki sweet. Go banje oyang bong cha kanga go bono guting sweet. I gave everyone a chance to speak. Everyone. Everyone stood here in front chair. I gave them opportunity to speak, all of them. That was my role to chair this session. Now, Chair, GFC uh, CEO, respond. Uh, uh, I spoke to you and the MEC, and then from there, the chair of the committee will take over the next session. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let me just talk to Jasper Sam, and Mac will just take the rest. Um, there is the issue of the registration of content. I'm informed that the FPB does allow for registration of scripts. But this also just indicates that there's a need for more education around this. With regards to issues of, uh, and we will be embarking on workshops. With regards to issues of a recommendation letter of a project we couldn't fund, I think we are open for engagement on this particular issue. Um, with the issue of compliance, you know, um, unfortunately as GFC, we cannot scrape the issues of the PFMA, which guides how that we need to interact with companies within South Africa. So we do understand the difficulties, but uh, we, we do plead that at the very least, you know, some of the servicing of issues of text do not really require that much money um, annually. 
So please make sure that you are in right standing to make sure that you access uh, some of the funding. I'm also informed that um, from the applications that we received in this call, from 409 submissions, only 208 submissions were completed online. So it does indicate that, you know, we need to go back as filmmakers to say, when the process gets opened, please do make sure that your application is complete because only completed applications are then being considered. Um, there has been a workshop that took place with the CIPC and the GFC, and it was guiding on issues of copyright. So it's important, colleagues, Ed, that as we put out that these are the workshops that are taking place, please be part and parcel of those. Meg, please take the rest. All right, well, can we please have a mic uh, brought forward? Uh, okay. I'll just ask uh, Humoto um, to indeed take a few and then get like while I chair. Jumelam Babotle, the guy. Good day. Why me mopele halona ke homozo zebediela? I've picked up a few questions that I think um, I can respond to. Um, the first question I'd like to respond to is the question around um, co-production treaties. The issue of co-production treaties is handled by our mother body, which is the NFVF. And over the past few years, they've signed co-production treaties with, I think, New Zealand, France, um, the UK, um, I don't remember the other uh, countries, but, uh, or oh, Canada as well. But Mama, I don't know, where is she? Oh. Um, I think what you need to do is to approach the NAVF, and uh, I'm not sure which countries are you co-producing with, but if indeed <laughs> they have a treaty with that country, they should be able to assist you. But even if you go onto their website, there is information and countries listed that they have co-production treaties. Um, and my advice to you is once that is done and you've resolved all the issues, you can then come to the GFC to request for funding, but the focus will be on the South African side, on your side, so our support will go towards South Africa, but you will also have to engage entities like your DTI. I hope get um, Um The issue is yeah, music, our beautiful singer, you really serenaded us. We, the biggest um, aspect that we participate in when it comes to music, it's scoring. And we will all agree that scoring gives a film life. A film without music is dead, but the minute you add music, it, it really adds in the, the necessary emotions. And um, we also have had workshops around scoring. And there is so much money that one can make just purely out of scoring. But it's unfortunate that you've also missed those workshops where C, uh, CIPC was present to address issues of intellectual property. 
because that is uh, a very important aspect that one needs to focus on or cover before you start giving other people your idea. So I think there was also a question around access to broadcasters. We have in the past <laughs> um, entered into partnerships with broadcasters. And I must say, I stand here very disappointed that I took about, I personally took about 20 filmmakers to Mzanzi. When we got to Mzanzi, the first thing they complained about was the quality of content that filmmakers are producing. And I think that the challenge there is that as filmmakers, we don't take time to familiarize ourselves with the criteria that the broadcasters are looking for. When you go and shoot a film, you don't just shoot it so that it pleases your friends. You shoot it with the broadcaster in mind. You shoot it with your audience in mind. So it's very important that once we, st we reenact these uh, conversations with broadcasters, you familiarize yourself with their deliverables. And the same applies to film festivals. You can't just access an international film festival. There's a criteria that you have to meet. The quality of your film has to meet certain standards. And if you can't meet those standards, you, we will take you to these film festivals, but you will come back with nothing, and it will be such a futile exercise. And you know, before you bite me, I do acknowledge that we need to run more workshops where we educate you on what is required. If you go to Cannes Film Festival right now, you'll get swallowed because you wouldn't know where to start, where to go, you know, who to speak to, what type of distributor do you need to speak to. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really happy, CEO, that we are reconsidering how we handle film festivals, because that is really a big challenge. We have first, uh, film festivals throughout the year, but we only have four calls in a year. So that really disadvantages a lot of people. Um, I think, yeah, just in closing, Mike, I think you'll take the rest. I'd also like to let make you aware that we do have a post-production facility. So in instances where your budget can't really stretch that much. We have a post-production facility that is open. All you need to do, is, and, and it's for free, all you need to do is call in our office and book. Hopefully the call will be answered, but you just need to call in, make a booking. The only limitation to it is that you can only access it during the day, during working hours. And I know that most editors prefer working throughout the night. So that's the only limitation. But other than that, besides GFC not giving you money, there is a post-production facility that you can access. I'd like to thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, indeed, I think the, the actors and crew, uh, the, these are indeed stakeholders that are that we don't primarily engage in terms of an, on an individual basis. But in through your associations, we are now starting to uh, ensure that, for instance, the crew, we are now developing a crew database that we can profile and make sure that, you know, on international platforms um, such as AFCI, it's another association of film commissions, um, then we are able to then uh, ensure that we profile you and you are able to be picked up by various. Um, but in terms of indeed uh, the protection, uh, it is something that needs to be looked into. Uh, 
in terms of recognition, I, I think our legends, both in the cultural uh, and creative side, it, it's something we're always you know, lacking behind, but we are actively trying to ensure that, especially before some of our legends also demise, we make sure that we document their stories and we give recognition. We are having a summit, uh, as it's been outlined, a, f a film summit, um, where indeed, as part of the summit, we are looking to uh, have an awards ceremony, so we will be looking to recognize some um, filmmakers there. In terms of having an information desk, I think it was also something that uh, Dr. Albert raised. We, GFC is also uh, launching information desks in various um, uh, regions. These are uh, self-help uh, kiosks, so similar to what you'd find at SARS and other places, but we are gonna now decentralize it and have them in libraries, uh, in shopping centers, and we're starting in this financial year to do a few um, that indeed will also be uh, ensuring that even application processes and other information is on these kiosks and is accessible uh, right within your fingertips. In terms of having workshops for the youth, uh, this is our focus, uh, especially with Youth Month. And uh, Dr. Mzwake, he's been chasing us, saying that we need to come to Daviton, uh, Chair. We are actually have already committed to say we are coming to do a workshop here in Daviton within the month of June, uh, focusing on indeed the film uh, and animation. Um, then in terms of uh, internships, uh, I think there's a gentleman who asked, do, how do we support those indeed who have graduated? We have a, a um, we do support internships, but though we'd need you to please register also on the CETA databases. There's CAT CETA as well as MICT CETA. Um, we work with these CETAs to ensure that those people indeed who have completed their studies, uh, we can then um, do a call to say we take about 20 or 30 interns uh, on that year and then they're placed in various production houses and also some within the GFC. Uh, we will indeed consider the, the request to, to do a workshop as well in, is it uh, Atterville? Uh, Attenville, sorry. Uh, near Whiteville, um, we will, but we do request also when there's a call open for application for workshops, you get uh, an organization that deals uh, with the creatives to just apply so that indeed we are now formally arranged, but we have heard your plea and we will discuss as part of also our stakeholder engagements with the department when there is an activity happening within the, the Whiteville or within your area, we will then look at bringing a, a master class or a workshop. So thank you. Thank you, Chair. Uh, we, will, we appreciate all the concerns and we will actively ensure that we we implement. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, colleagues, before I give over to Babu Shabalala to close, uh, I felt that uh, there are those that may have been directed to us at which we must respond as the committee. Uh, and, and, and all of them also have been touched uh, by the GFC when they were responding. But it's also important that uh, uh, we, we say something around uh, those issues. Someone raised, a, raised an issue which speaks to the crew protection as to how are they protected. Uh, they go there and play people and after that they are not paid anything and uh, they don't know where to go. Three things have happened. In 2020, uh, there was a bill that was strictly focusing uh, in the sector. And uh, it was introduced by Minister Pulas Nguyen. It was linked to the Labor Department. Because also what we do, uh, we, we want to claim every space that is there. And in the process, 
then we get used by the industry. You know better. Then you get used by the industry. Ronaraubona mo TV, mararlaka na strateng is a different story. Because angkere marubona mo tuko TV na or matlaka na liyan or tuwa tara signing stuff like that. Because that is what happens with celebrities. Am I correct? But then we find you on the street is a different story. And the notion to a monster supply. So the Department of Labor introduced that in 2020, that bill that seeks to protect uh, the people in the TV and film industry. So if you familiarize yourself with that, it's a, it's a first point that it will assist you. The second one this year, I think uh, two, three months ago, the process just concluded. It started in January or so. The performers bill. Eh? It's two bills. It's a performance. The other one, I think, is the producers. But they are spoke, they are both, is the what, what, the second one? Intellectual property. I speak to writers and those who, who, who create. Those two bills also, they are made to protect the same sector. And they are also made because of these things that you are raising. How are we protected? Where do we get protection? So at a level of legislature, through Department of Economic Development, we might have made a submission in terms of what you've been telling us. But that's the process. And we made sure that as and when they were doing those things, we also send an invite to those of you so that at least you partake in that process. Because the performers and the intellectual property bill uh, were speaking about you. So those are two bills, that, uh, three bills that we believe they are protecting you. But also, if they are not, then the leg as legislature we must do what we call a review. We look at them, and if they are no longer working, we then start making submissions to national uh, government and parliament ultimately, so that then they can change and favor us. But though there are those three uh, bills that speaks on how to protect uh, you. Uh, the other, okay, these other important ones, I think in that April, uh, we spoke about the IPO. We must investigate there what is happening, and if our people are taken for a ride, we must find a way of assisting in solving those problems. So that if it's a South African-based arrangement, it must be for South Africans. It's simple as that. Uh, the issue of the treaties, it is responded correctly. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, what I just want to address, okay, the issue of workshops, there was a request that workshops must no longer be in this form, they must be for a com, they must be these other relevant stakeholders. Uh, I'm hoping the GFC noted that, because as legislature, we, for a com is not our stakeholder. It's only you that we can invite to a meeting as a facilitation process. Because these people, the Department of uh, 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 Sports, Arts, and Culture, must report to you. So there are basically three arms of the state. And uh, the three arms of the state is the executive, is the legislature, and the judiciary. And the TINA were in the legislature part. I'm raising this because uh, there was an assertion that maybe as a portfolio committee we come and make promises we can't keep. It was raised as a, in terms of money, that don't promise money you don't have. I just want to put it categorically clear here, we have never done that. If we did, maybe we were drunk, we must be taken to task. Because we don't take such decisions. How would we commit money when we don't work with money? Our work is to do oversight over the department. So the only people who can promise you money maybe can be the department because in their operations there is an MEC who forms part of the executive and it's them that runs the department. Our part as the legislature is to make laws. After making laws, we do oversight on things that they claim that they will do with you or that they will do for you. So I thought that must be clear where there is no way since the night took over from William, I think in December, I've never committed any money to anyone. And uh, I was part of this committee since inception. I've never had the former chair committing money uh, to anyone.
because we don't work with money, but we work with doing oversight. So I thought I must uh, put those ones clear. The issue of budget, Baba uh, Zwangenda, the GFC budget has increased. We all agree, and we are not going to shy away and run. It's a fact. But also a fact is that it's not everywhere. <laughs> it's also a fact. No matter how you pull us at hundred, but we have only two hundred. This is one man. If you pull us at two hundred, but we have only two hundred. This is one man. For example, what we said this year, we said government must try to increase it to two hundred million. They can't. They've increased with about one point nine percent, if I'm not mistaken. But there is an increase. So as much as in Nane, we agree in Nane, and they have committed that it will increase even further in the outer years, which means what we are having next year will be different. Uh, what we are having this year will be different next year and also after next year. But what we must try then to do is to say, these outer years, this increment is small. How do we start the process now? So that when March comes, at least this time, see, but for the for the million. For the one million. At least next year, next year but eight. Then we'll be moving. Because Lama 1.9, they don't make that much of change uh, there. And there we agree with you. We've been saying it since we arrived here. With no Lema Lingani, it does not make sense. Lema Lingani does not make sense. But also a government executive, which we are not part of. Maseba analyzer. No, Mara, according to this year, we only have this much that we can give to the Department of Sports. Then the Department of Sports will say, no, not we can only give this much to GFC. But we must note that there is that 1.9 increment. And there is a commitment that it will even increase in the outer years, meaning 2025 it will increase, 2026 it will increase. But how do we then make Uguti the increase here at 2025, 1.9%. Maybe we will increment 7% or even 10%. So that Abasapi 30, they are now able to give 60. Abasapi 20, they are now able to give 50. So those things are things that uh, we are aware of and uh, we are trying to push and make sure we do things uh, as quick as possible. And I must say, can I just close on your behalf? Or you want to speak to people? Yeah, okay. Pela Pela Muna are liba to Ratas Chava. So Mutra Dalida Kas Chava or Yaska Tolabu was sometimes a Mutanza. Remuna what Baba Kana to Baba address an in Chomyak. So no, he says it's fine. He's addressing many people he then pull in every week. So he says it's fine. So colleagues, let me also take this opportunity, having said that, to thank you. But to say this is just the beginning. I mean, it's the first time we are having a stakeholder engagement focusing only on you. And it's a decision we took last month. Our, and, 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 this, and this proves that we listen to you. We were with you in LX. And when we met with the department, they were worried themselves that no, these stakeholder meetings might not be assisting. Because what about Paul? And it was true. Uh, people were coming, raising personal issues, and not focusing on the bigger picture. But as I said, because these meetings are programmatically arranged, then the department it becomes even difficult for them to respond. Today, you only had GFC here responding directly to you, and only you. And I believe that is a step towards the right direction. Even the athletes, when we meet with them next of next week, they'll be happy that we're meeting them alone. And in fact, I can tell you that today, we have had issues that we have never had before. We've attended five stakeholders with you, or six. Mara today, every time we're with you, you complain about two things. The money is small, they are not giving it to you. That's all. But today, we've got other things. I even learned of things that I did not know, because it was only you alone. So we believe this is a step in the right direction, and uh, we must proceed like this, uh, work together. I'm still encouraging, uh, from community organizations, you know, 
In my Facebook, when, they, when I posted this letter that speaks about today, people were asking me many questions. Why is this happening? And I become worried, with you. how are you an actor or a filmmaker, but you don't know GFC? Like, those are things that I'm just asking myself. And then I had to explain, no, GFC, kyo na mo ni tsuring ki filimi. So, nyo ngobo ek tamandla, ki au tia ke ngewar ki mandla, ya ek cha ki wona ko theater every week, but it does not know of GFC. Maybe GFC is not doing enough to promote themselves. They are liberal now, they must improve on their promotions so that they are known everywhere. So, but we are working. Eh? So, kya li lebo ukha, sinu kut la kukona. Ntandu kunbonga, and do me tingye to say fikik tini. Gunne lanj. Ni nga sa lanjye kona la po nne tezege. And then ukut la kuzo zagini. Asbongi eni. Maybe next time when we meet, Sizokala City progress report, ne? Before singe na guma issue, so that we are able to gauge. You go, okay. Since last time, Mr. Ngani ngai two June, what have we done? Just as this sector. Nyabonga. Thank you very much.